All right, happy happy Friday, everyone. Was it? Is this a bit too loud? Let me turn it up a little bit. Happy Friday, everyone. No, uh, I know it's a. Uh, actually, no, we're we're pretty on time, I guess. I'm not streaming at 2 a.m. in the morning, so I guess that's an improvement. I hope everyone's having a good. Wait, Friday? It's Friday? Is it or is it Saturday? I think it's. Sa maybe maybe it's Saturday. No, yeah, it's Saturday. Saturday midnight. Happy, happy, Saturday. Technically, I guess everyone. I hope you guys are all doing doing well. Happy birthday! Oh my God, it's my birthday! I didn't even realize. Wait, happy birthday to me! Where's my presents? I expect, I expect a cake and presents and a, and a party and a surprise party. And if you guys don't have it, I'm gonna be really, really sad and I'm gonna drink all my problems away, like as if I'm not already doing that right now. <laughs> so thanks for clocking in, Han and Zoe and Edda and Cloud and Zoe again. So congrats on being first Cloud again as usual. Oh wow, thank you for the thank you for the single bit. I will treasure this bit for the rest for the rest of my life. And thanks for clocking in to Twitter. No, we're not <laughs> We're not we're, we're not doing anything skivity tonight unless unless this game has a toilet effect, in which case oh, oh fug. Happy birthday! Love you. Thanks, Zoe. It's my. It, I didn't even know it was my birthday, but uh, apparently, like, <laughs> I guess this also counts as a surprise for me. And also, thank you for the three months resub, Cyber. Thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate. It. You have Everclear. Hey, nice. Yeah, right now, uh, what I'm what I'm drinking right now is. Uh, what are we drinking again? More more rum and coke because I haven't finished the bottle yet and. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long I last through the night. So I don't know if you guys want to. You guys can drink or not drink, or you can just drink water if you want. It's my birthday. Um, uh, apparently, I, 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 <laughs> I thought my birthday was in for like another two, three months, but apparently it is my birthday according to chat. So, I mean, according to the to the lab rats. So apparently, H happy birthday to, to me, I guess. It is? What the heck? It e <laughs> it's not my fault I don't know what my birthday is. Apparently I have two birthdays now. Does that mean like I'm twice as old as like everyone else now? Does that make me like a super boomer? It's your birthday next week? Hey, happy, happy, um, early one week birthday. Hey, it's my favorite, favoriteest ever RPG maker game. You like this game better than Yume Nikki? Yume Tuki? Oh, I mean, I, is it called Yume Tuki? I always thought it was pronounced that, but maybe it's pronounced like Yume Nikki in Japanese, like as a pun. But you know, it's a sequel. It makes me old, so good job. Yeah, I'm like a thousand years older than like all of you, so it makes sense. You gotta stream Friday the 13th. It's my birthday then. Yeah, I'll probably, we'll probably stream on Friday. I don't think... I think most of the times I don't really ever miss a stream on Fridays, because uh, that's like the the days where I just like get to relax all day after after a hard week of slacking off at work. It actually is Yume Nikki, it's just two is neat. Yeah, but you can, the pun is lost in English, so people just call it Yume Tuki in, in English, doesn't it? Is this a Yume Nikki ripoff? Yes and no, technically. Because this is okay, Yumi and Nikki is sort of like a self-contained game by itself. But if you look on, if you look on what it says behind me, uh, Yumi and Nikki is a collaborative hobby project developed by a variety of different people. So the content varies dramatically. If you'd like to implement your own content, please consider joining us. We always welcome new RPG maker developers, artists, and composers. This project has no relation to Yume Nikki, created by Kikiyama, nor is Kikiyama associated with this project in any way. It is purely a fan game. So this is sort of like a fan spin-off to Yume Nikki, and it's like one of the most it's one of the like the most expansive games. Didn't she game over after the original game? Um I I think that the protagonist in this game is a different protagonist than the one in the original Yume Nikki. I believe what was her name? Udo Uro Urosuki? I think her name. Oh, I forgot. What was her name again? Someone, someone, fill me in. What's this person's name again? Yume Tuki, um, Uro Urotsuki. So, you know, it's the you know they're both end in Suki. And she's sort of like the same ish kind of. She walks around with her eyes closed. She's sort of like a. She's probably like a hiki neat, and uh, 
she just doesn't really want to leave her house and she just wants to dream. Real talk, is Yume Nikki a boomer game? That depends, how long is Yume Nikki? How long ago was Yume Nikki made? Uh, Yume Nikki was made in 2004. So you give it one more year and it'll be 20 years old. It'll, it's already old enough to drink, technically. So yes, I guess, pretty much. Almost a 20 year old game. I'd say that it's pretty much a boomer game. But I think it's a classic game. It's definitely like, for a, fa for a game made in RPG Maker, it's actually kind of crazy how this is sort of considered like one of the most landmark games in terms of making like a dream simulator type of game. Because I know like LSD dream simulator, simulator existed, but that game never really took off in terms of popularity until people like sort of made it a lost media until it was found again. And even then, like it was only when like Yuma and Nikki and like a lot of other similar like surreal dream exploration games sort of started to like really take off. Also thanks for thanks for clocking in Sinar. And as far as my sleep rating check, I'd say like I'm a I'm, a, I'm like a two out of ten. I'm drinking right now, so uh, we'll see what happens. I still have like a uh, I still have like a third of this uh, spiced Captain Morgan spice rum left. So we'll see if uh, I manage to finish it, and then in which case I might just completely like get knocked out. And as far as um as far as this game specifically, this is actually a a multiplayer like I'm playing on the multiplayer client version. So if you guys f so much feel as inclined to, you can also join me if you like uh, on what, what was it? Hold on, let me see. You made Tuki. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the link, and then we can. No, it's not a download. It's not a download. You can actually play this in your browser. I'm, I'm going to be playing this in my browser, like, right now, actually. So this is the link, if you guys would like. Uh, I will be probably exploring, like, all on my own, but feel free to, like, find me or join me or just do your own thing. But yeah, uh, it is technically a single-player game, but there are these cool people who managed to put, like, an online version onto this browser site. Uh, can, can we pin that? All right, there we go. So, uh, we'll put that there. So if you'd like to, feel free to join me. Uh, actually, I should probably change that too. You may, let me show it right here. You may to key online. And then we'll put this here. Yeah, that should be good. So, uh, like I said, you guys can check it out if you want, or you can just watch me on stream, or you can just listen to me ramble, or you can just call me stinky. I mean, you guys already do it all the time, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just feel free to vibe. Today, I was going to actually play something a lot more um, action-y tonight, but after, after, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, but after playing uh, Crab Champions, I sort of just want to like cool off and relax for the rest of the night. So. I figured, you know, I was going to play House of the Dead Overkill because I think that's pretty in line with like playing spooky slash creepy slash funny horror games. But after after like our after my impromptu collab with everyone earlier, I'm sort of just like uh, wanting to relax and you know just uh, lay back and take it easy. So yeah, tonight. If you guys don't know what Yumetuki is, uh, it is basically a dream exploration type of type of game. To be fair, Yumetuki wasn't that good of a game. It was a very niche. I wouldn't say it wasn't a good game because it was niche. I think it was very experimental for its genre, and I think it worked because now a lot of games sort of followed in its footsteps in terms of just like being dream exploration walking sims. And I get that walking sims aren't for everyone. You know, it's not. They're not going to be, you know, action-packed, puzzle-tier, like, you know, grabs your attention with cutscenes types of stuff. But it's more just about, like, the atmosphere and being immersed. And I feel like... I feel like Yume, Yume Nikki and its, like, spin-offs and all of the games that sort of followed suit afterwards that sort of took inspiration from it. That's, like, the most important thing. Feeling like you're immersed in... in these games, because... You'll find out like when we start playing them, for anyone who's new for this for the first time. 
that a lot of stuff that we'll see, it's not about like solving puzzles or being spooked, although there are some spooky stuff in here. Uh, or, you know, killing people or like doing crazy stuff. It's more just like you're exploring a dreamscape. Think of it like, I guess you can sort of think of Yume Nikki as like a liminal space predecessor, I guess. They sort of like capture the feeling of being in a dreamlike space before that was like even possible with a 3D type environment. Well, I mean, I guess LSD was a thing, but like in a realistic 3D environment, I'd say. So. I think we're good. Let's get into it. Yep, same thing as before. Room, bed, dreaming, wake up and repeat. Everything's all the same. Save the computer. Rest and hold to confirm key to use effects. I wanted chaos in there. I mean, you can technically... Apparently, uh, according to this game, there is a... Uh, a leaderboard and apparently there's like expert experience I think and they have like expeditions I have no idea what those are uh, for anyone who probably has played this game before feel free to like fill me in but I have no idea what expeditions are so I, I, I don't know I, I just have fun with it I guess why do I stink I don't stink I just showered so here we can already see there's like a lot of people around here. I think I can also pull this up right. Let me see. Yeah, there is like a there is like a global chat room and there's like an all chat room. And there's actually like a small there's a small dedicated amount of like people who do play this game, like who enjoy playing this game. I think right now it says like I think you guys are sort of like uh, covering them up right now, but it says like there's about like 130 people playing this online, which yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but for a really niche game like Yume Tuki or Yume Nikki, uh, for that many people to be on, like cumulative, well not cumulatively, but like uh, at a certain time, like I'm pretty sure I've always seen like at least 100 people on in Yume Tuki whenever I check this site. So I imagine that, you know, there's a small dedicated niche people, a uh, group of people that enjoy playing this game. So. What is this shit? This is Yumetuki. This is a dream exploration game. Right now we're sort of like a like I said, this is an online game, so if you guys feel if you guys would like to, you can feel free to like join and play if it is like your type of game. If not, then totally understand. I wonder if they have Nasu in here. Wait, do they? Oh, they do. Uh gimmick runner, is that Kirby? Okay, hold on, we'll put that off for now. Are there any costumes I can get? No. And then I think if I remember, you can't go outside, right? Ah, oh, you just shake your head. What about over... You must stinky? No, well, yeah, I guess. Actually, you're right. They are neats. There's no shout. Look. Look at this. There's no shower in this place. She refuses to leave her, her room. She, I'd imagine, you know, you can imagine the smell, technically, I guess. Oh, this is nice. Wow, what is so... Dude, this is way better of a sight than before. Wait, what happened? Where'd you go? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I guess it just quit. I thought for a second you could like do something over here. Guess not. Yeah, this is a really nice sight. I like it. Although those are some really... Those are some really pointy mountains, not gonna lie. Alright, uh, wait, can I use controller on this? Oh, I can. Wait, does it? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go dream, I guess. Off to the world, and we drink. So for people who don't know, this game is basically like a huge, huge expansion pack toward um, Yume, Yume no How do I sit? Sleepwalking, FPS. No, no. How do I- wait, how are they doing that? I want to sit. Instructions. Confirm, enter, space, Z. Wake up, menu, wake up, pinch cheeks. Oh, I, I get- maybe it's an effect. Or maybe- no, you know what? Oh, whoops. Uh, I think it's probably a- yeah, as you can see, I'm playing in the browser right now, so if, again, feel free to join if you'd like. But I guess that I think they're just like in they're either AFK or 
or they're probably in their menus right now. What happens if I go back to sleep in here? Oh, I think I can't. I can't go full on inception mode inside the game itself. All right, that's fine. What about PC? Yume. What? Mail. Mail? Wait, huh? Wait. I can't. I can't go on my PC? No, I can't go on my PC in my own dream. Why well, have Yume Nikki open? Wait, Yume Nikki? <laughs> why do we have why do we have Yume Nikki inside our dream itself? Hmm. I wonder if there's gonna be like callbacks to well, the original game. I mean it is a spin-off, right? So it makes sense that there'd be like stuff in here that would sort of call back to the original game. Maybe it'll be like same dreams or the same people. Can I interact with you? Nope. Nope. Can I play video games in here? No, there's no console in here. There's no console in our video games. It's actually over. Okay, let's go check here. The Nexus. Oh, it's a penguin. Oh, is that like a pretty? That looks like a pretty, doesn't it? Oh my god, there's so many Nexus points in here. Hmm. I guess we have to like... There's, there's a lot of people on here, apparently. Wow, it's Nyantoka. Oh my god, Nyantoka's actually alive for once. Or are, or are we dreaming that he's even here? Okay, I think if I think it keeps on, I think it keeps on like uh, looping when we go down or up. Yeah, it looks like it. I want the I want the raincoat and the penguin one, honestly. You gotta set a name to be seen. How do I set a name? Um. Wait, how do I set a name? I thought I already said a name. Did I not? In the chat bottom. Oh. Wait, chat bottom? Uh. Let me. Use, hold on. Okay, yep, that's understandable. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure I logged in and everything. Oh, you found me? Is that you? Oh, yeah, I see you. Hey, nice. Welcome. Is this a multiplayer? It is a multiplayer. I mean, it's multiplayer in the sense that you can just sort of explore dreams everywhere. Wait, how are you sitting? I want to sit. Or is it when you just pause? Okay. I think when you pause, you do like just sit down. What am I drinking? Uh, oh, hold space. Oh, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> now, if we ever find a dream where it's like, uh, it's a nice vibe, we can just relax and everything. What am I drinking? I am drinking a, what's it called? Uh, I'm drinking rum and coke again, but you know, it's fine. It, simple is fine because I enjoy my drink. Yeah, we can chill. But hold on, we can't chill just yet. We just started, so let's go start exploring some dreams. Uh, where can we go? Maybe this door. Maybe here? No? No? Wait, maybe this light? Okay. Lamp puddle world. Whoa, that's some that's some really strong music. Let me turn it down just a little bit. I like the I like the ambience here. It's not it's not too like crazy. It's not too spooky, but it's like a good ambient noise vibe. Yeah, it's a different definitely a very very sleepy vibe. Like I won't even though it's like really dark in here. If I could just like listen to this music for just like a long time, I think I would enjoy it. Was oh, this an effect? 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 No? This isn't an effect? Ah, Maybe it's an NPC. So, like I said, if you don't really know what the purpose of this game is, it's to find as many effects as possible and keep on exploring dreams. Nothing on. And you just sort of like, uh, let me just use a controller. Controller is way easier to do. And you're just sort of like just exploring all these dreams and they're all sort of connected in some way. Sometimes they'll lead to a dead end. Other times they'll be like uh, connected to like a bunch of different multiple maps. But I personally just uh, want to keep on exploring. There won't really be any end for this one, I think. I know there's like an end for Yuma Nikki that we never like really got to beat because uh, it was really, really hard to find like the last couple of effects I was missing. Some of the effects from the original Yuma Nikki, they were 
really, really hard to like find. Like I saw the walkthrough for some of them, and they're really convoluted. Like I want to say that for some of them, you had to go through like a certain area specifically just to find everything. And some of them. Oh, here we go. This looks new. So thank you for the thank you for the raid, Sheva. Uh, yeah, yeah. Please, if you don't mind, please uh, give Sheva a shout out. Uh, hope your stream for playing spooky games and demos went nice. Hey, hey, Beryl. Hi, Marie. And also, hey, Sheva and Hobie. Yeah, yeah. Right now, we're currently playing Yume Yume Tuki, which is sort of like a dream exploration type of game, which is the sequel to Yume. I won't say the sequel. I'd say it's more like a fan spin-off of Yume Tuki. And we're sort of we're sort of just like uh, drinking and vibing. As you can tell from like the music right now, a lot of the music will be very, very ambient. So you know, feel free to just like relax and enjoy the music, or enjoy the vibe. And also for anyone coming in for the first time from Shiva's stream, hi, I'm Beryl Beru. I am a very lazy demon intern who usually plays RPG games and horror games. And I guess this sort of counts as both. It's sort of like a RPG exploration game with slight elements of horror. Speaking of drinking, I need to drink some water. Yeah, yeah, feel free to. Yeah, if for anyone coming in, you know, if you need to get some water, also thank you for the follow, Marie. For uh, for anyone coming in, if you need to get water, if you need to get food, if you want to like just relax, go to sleep, do some errands, I totally understand. Uh, make sure you take care of yourselves before you know you do your other obligations or enjoyments. Yeah, yeah, we can summon a FOMO right now. Uh, here we go. We can put him. Oh, you know what? Let's do like an upside down like FUMO type of thing like on the top bar. Let's see how that goes. You can put him like right here. Nice. I have to go to bed. I have work in the morning. Oh no, no, I totally understand. Thank you for dropping by, Marie. I really appreciate it. And thank you again for the follow. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Oh, I'll do an errand. All right, what kind of errand? Um, I think I lost. I think I lost you, Cyber. But uh, I think we'll probably like show up again, most likely. Or if like I have to get back to the Nexus point, uh, I think if you pause and click on Wake Up, you'll get back to like the real world. And then if you want to go back into the Dream World, we'll go that way. I was out of sleep. My head hurts. Bye bye, Barrel. Have fun gaming. Thanks, Shava. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good rest of your night. You're inside the hut? Okay, okay. Wait, how'd you find the hut before I did? What the heck? Ooh. This is nice. Oh, this is actually really nice. I like it. Can we get anything here? Who are you? Can I get my fortune? Oh, wait. I have no yen! No! I can't... I can't get my own fortune if I have no yen. Knock on the door. Okay. Sleep reading check? I'd say, like, I'm at a... I'm still at, like, a 2 out of 10 right now, Edda. Also, thanks for the redeem. I'm knocking, I'm knocking. Is this gonna be one like one of those um what's it called? That one thing from it's a bit loud, isn't it? I'll turn it just a little bit more. Is this gonna be like that one thing from the original Yuma Nikki where if you like interact with the door enough, it's gonna like spawn an Ubo or whatever? Hmm. I guess there's nothing we can do here for now. I guess we need money. I wonder how you get money though. Alright. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in this hut for now, or anything else in this uh, world for now. Cause like I said, some of them will lead to other nexus points, to other worlds, and other others will most likely just uh, end in in dead ends or like random huts like that one. Hmm. Hey, waffle. Glad you could drop by. Um. Hmm. I guess we can just keep on exploring. This might be might be really really big, because I remember in the some maps in the original Yuma and Nikki, they were huge. But I think that game was only like 40, 40 megabytes. And I think if you download like Yuma and Tuki, it's like five hundred, so it's like more than ten times the amount of like space it takes up. Okay, I think this leads back to. Does this lead back to where we came from? Oh yeah, it does. We'll spend a bit more time in this world, and then if nothing happens, we can go back to our nexus point, the nex the hub, 
and we'll check out another world. But I'm not sure if there's anything else here. As far as the... As far as the... Uh, what's it called? The... This world itself? It doesn't feel like there might be anything else. Actually, let me pull up... Let me pull up chat in here, too. I'll just pull up the map, honestly. There we go. I'm not sure if it'll cover anything up. Hopefully not. I mean, you guys probably won't see it, but for anyone that does manage to, like, join, if you'd like to join, like I said, uh, this game, yeah, yeah, it's online, so if you want to, feel free to, like, hop in and join whenever you want. You don't have to download anything. It's literally just inside the browser itself. I'll keep on the map, though, in, in the map chat, if you guys manage to find anything somehow. Um, but I don't think there might be anything else here. Honestly, though, I'd say I lucked out. I definitely like this world as, like, sort of a beginning world for, like, choosing our first map. I think it definitely sets the vibe for this game uh, a lot, like, really, really well. Yeah, it is really, really good. I like it a lot. Uh... All right, let's go back to the hub, and let's go see if we can find something else. Uh, let's see. Well, I want some of these, dude. These some of these effects are so cool. Okay, how about here, cyber world, geometry world. Oh no, I'm not good at math. Lamp puddle world. So that's where we were originally. Now we're in geometry world. Hmm, that's not interactable. Can we talk with these guys? No. Dude, they're like olive heads, what the heck? How do you find C squared? Um, A, A squared plus, plus B squared. Oh, you were in here before I got to the game cyber? Oh, is this like one of the first worlds that you got into? You managed to find anything cool? Oh, it's, um, it's, what's his name? Dan Board, or whatever his name was. The, uh, oh, wait, oh, ooh. Mossy Stone Area. Oh. This music's a bit foreboding. Nerd? Hold on, I can't be a nerd unless I have these, okay? There, now now you can call me a nerd if you want. Anything here? No. Doesn't look like it. How about up here? Free glasses redeem? No, I'll charge you. You guys are in debt now. Actually? No? Fine, we'll remove them. I didn't want to be a nerd anyways. Get out of here. There's a creepy hole? Where do you see the creepy hole? Over, ooh, this? Or not this? Not this? Is that where we, I think that's probably where we came from, huh? Rip glasses. Look, what do you want? Do you want the glasses or not, okay? <laughs> Fine, we'll bring it back, jeez. So indecisive, god. That's a hole? Wait, this is a lamppost, isn't it? Okay, we can go here. Whoa. Red streetlight world. This sort that background. This background sort of looks like um what's his what's it called? That one boss from Mother 3, doesn't it? Like that one really gross, like uh fetus looking boss. Wait, can we interact with that? It's overlapping! The textures are overlapping. Nothing? Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh no one maze. Okay, hold on, I'll come back, I'll come back out. Gig yeah, gig yes, that was it. This is creepy. I, I like it. It's a cool, it's definitely a cool world. I wonder if you can, how do you make parties? Apparently you can make a party, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, you can, uh, create party. Um, interns. Uh, we do be lazy. Uh, what can we understand? Nah, 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 nah. No, wait. Oh, the UI. I don't want you to. No, I had a good. Uh, I had a good UI. I already lost what it was. Um, was it this one? I think it was this one. There we go. Uh, I made it public, but if you want to join, that's the party. Uh, if you want to check it out, I think you might be able to join too, Cyber. If you want to, the red is so saturated. It's burning my redness. It's not that saturated. Come on, stop being dramatic. 
So there was a maze world, but I don't know if I'm ready. If I'm ready to be <laughs> completely mind broken by a maze. It looks like a mountain of smiling bodies. I think you might like. <laughs> That's like a. What do they call those? Like, it's like a Rorschach test? Oh. Oh! Uh uh Okay, uh I'm not I'm not mentally prepared for that world just yet, so I'll I'll explore this place a little bit more. What else do we got here? That might be honestly two nexus points into two different areas is pretty it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. That might be that might be it though. Damn dude, I actually you know what? Uh we need to find the bikes. If you have the bikes, it would make exploring these worlds a lot easier. Bikes or whatever movement movement effects that we can get up, come across. Okay, I think I was right. That might be the those guys, those effects might be the only wait not effects wait it's a circle wait is this a circle it is a circle can okay, there be something in the center here oh oh hi i'm tired can i go to sleep of course here on my channel we always encourage people to properly sleep so if you want to sleep, uh, either on on my stream, or if you just want to log off, I totally understand. Who, who are you and what can I... Okay. Can I... I want an effect, please! Give me an effect! I want an effect! Alright, me and Miantoka are we're both going to sleep. That is so on brand, I'm not even like surprised. Okay, like... <laughs> if you're trying to troll me, like... That that's literally on brand, so I'm not I'm not surprised. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh. Uh, I'm not a skibbity streamer. Shut up. You know what? I, I don't care. I'm removing that tag right now. I don't care what you guys say. Uh, give me a sec. If you want to add that tag back in, you're gonna have to redeem points for that. But uh, I'm getting I'm getting that out of here right now. Get out of here. My 10k? Refund me? Uh, you didn't use it during the stream. So, sucks to suck. Go go redeem it again, love Mal. You'll always be a skibbity streamer. Yeah, sure. What the hell is this? Wait, is this like a boss or something? Is this still the same world? I actually did use it. Yeah, during- I'm looking- I'm, I'm literally looking at the stream right now. I don't see anything. Not from this stream. I'm not a brat. I think you're projecting, honestly. Okay, you asked for it. Yeah, that's right. Go go redeem it. Go redeem your, like, 100,000 points right now. Are these veins? I don't know what they are. I can't go inside of it. It's very, um, visceral, that's for sure. <laughs> Fine! Well, I had it back. Why am I mean to my mods? Um, no. They're the ones that are mean to me, obviously. Looks like you can go in from the top. Let me try it. Let me try it. I think I lost you, Cyber, but we'll probably come across each other again. I'm inside the, uh, the red streetlight world right now. Uh, maybe here? No. Oh, no? No? Maybe here? Wait, hold on. Hey, I'm on. Glad you could drop by. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get inside. Also, the audio is like really fucking up right now. Wait, wait, this? This? Okay. That's it? Oh, I thought you could. No! Oh, man. I was in Streetlight, now in Party Chat. How do I check my Party Chat? There's a creepy hole. Joined. I've been removed from interns? Wait, what? Did I get removed? No, no, no. I see. How do I check my party chat? Oh, here we go. Alright, there we go. Now we're in party chat. From archway from the top. Yeah, yeah, I saw- wait, an archway. 
Here, here? Wait, what archery? Oh, right here? No, that's not an art. No, no, you can't go in. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying right now, but you can't go in. I went inside the walking street light. I think, I don't know where I went into. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get in here. Apparently I'm in a completely different map right now because I think the first one I went to, what do you mean? The first, like here? I mean, I can just go down on like everything here, but it doesn't look like I can go in. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't look like I can go in right now. Yeah, I can go across in here and in here, and it's like the flashing light here, but you can't really go in there. The first three street lights I went to when I entered this map was it like on the top left, right? Or is it in the bottom right? I honestly don't remember. Worst case scenario, I'll just uh, I'll just reset my my dream to go back to the real world. Here you go, circle, circle. Anything here? No. You think there would be something in here? It looks very... It looks a lot like there would be something in here, but I guess not. Okay, maybe more north? Or should I keep going diagonal? If I keep going north, it would probably just loop me non-stop, right? Oh! Oh! Ooh. Okay. Maybe this? Okay, it's broken. Is it just me or is the audio like really messing up right now? No, it definitely feels like it's like getting really, really messed up right now. Okay, now it's fixed. Yeah, it was like really getting weird for a second, but now it's fixed. Okay, no, never mind. It's getting fucked up again. Or maybe it's just part of the game itself. Oh! Oh. Whoa. Okay. The steps are peeking. Right? The steps are fucking peeking. Maybe I should just... No. Settings. Um, sound volume. Maybe this will lower it just a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think that's better. Never mind. The, the steps... The steps inside the game just peak. We're go wait, no, hold on. Lower? Did I lower it? We have to save it. No? Oh, Stop. Why isn't it? It keeps resetting. It keeps resetting. Where's the shower redeem? You don't have to do a shower redeem because I literally just showered before the stream. What the hell is this? Wait, what? It's like a rib cage. No, it's like a. It's like a rib cage. That's a rib cage, isn't it? Hold on. And that's like a head. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, hydrate. I can hydrate right now. Give me a sec. This is like the labyrinth. This is. There's a lot of maps like the actual have the actually have uh, real labyrinths inside of them. They're really annoying too. They're really, really annoying to navigate. All right, I finished my first uh, cup of rum and coke, so let me let me refill it for a second right now. Man, I hope I at least find an effect really, really soon. We're like, we're getting close to an hour in, and I've not found like a single effect yet. We do not like the decapitated streetlight. Wait, you're in a place with the dec- Oh wait, you mean like this place? I don't know if you consider it decapitated. I'd say this is more like an alien type of streetlight creature. Something they could only ever dream up, which is sort of like the whole point of the game, you know? All this stuff just makes no sense, but it makes sense because it is in a dream. Circle? Why are these 
Why is this audio like peaking? I I can't lower it, can I? No, it keeps resetting. Why? Okay, there, 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 there. Okay. Okay, now we're good. We're good. I managed to. I think I managed to fix it. Red street light found a street pole with no light. Went in, did not like. I'll try to find that then. I might have to. Never mind. I did not fix the audio. Uh, settings. No, I guess it just peaks no matter what. Maybe it's just the world. It could just be the world itself. Okay, this is where I came from. If we're still stuck in here for like another like couple of minutes, I'll reset the world. Or I'll reset. Wait, what is this? Wait, was this? Have I been here before? You can only change the audio on a fresh load. Wait, that's a hand. What the fuck? Wait, that's a hand. Wait, is this a person? Is this a thing? Are you also getting peaking audio cyber? Because I don't think... Wait, what is this? I can't... Wait, this is definitely a different structure than before. It's not the same structure I think I went into. Is it? No, 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 it is, it is. You're also getting peaking audio? Maybe it just depends on where you are. Well, hopefully it won't be as annoying, because I turned it down on your guys' end for a little bit more than mine. Let me try finding my way back. Oh god. I, bit, I went a bit too hard on the on the rum percentage right there. Alright, here's another cube area. I think this is the same thing. Yeah, this is definitely the same thing. Uh, where did I come from? Uh, it wasn't here, right? That's not that. Alright, you know what? I think this probably calls for a reset. Because I think I'm just looping into the same area. I'm not even sure if there will be an exit in here. I remember that there were some worlds where you literally couldn't escape. It was just, um... Wake up. Okay, let's just wake up. There are some worlds where you just get trapped in forever. I think this might be one of them. Alright, wake up. Pinch cheek? You know, I mentioned I mentioned before, but... Uh, let's see if I can go to the party chat. Party chat, chat... There's no party chat, apparently. Oh well. I've been removed from interns? Wow. I got kicked from my own party. Thanks, I guess. No, no. No, yeah, I got kicked. So... I mentioned this before, but the way that they sort of like wake up in this game is pretty interesting because you know how you can't really feel pain in a dream? I I think it's possible to feel like pressure in a dream, but you can't feel like outright pain. You can feel like discomfort, obviously. But the feeling of pain doesn't like exactly exist when you're when you're dreaming. But I've had some really, really uncomfortable dreams. I've had a dream where I think I was like underwater and I could sort of feel like water pressure like pressing down on me while I got deeper and deeper but it didn't feel painful I just felt really uncomfortable um what else I've had dreams where I think someone like tried to like attack me with like I think I was like in a duel or something like that and I think someone like attacked me and like slashed me with a sword and I didn't really really feel the sword itself I just sort of like got the feeling of as though I was hit by a sword although nothing like really it was like the feeling of pressure from being hit by a sword but it wasn't like you know exactly the feeling of being cut yeah duel you know like Yu-Gi-Oh I know I don't really dream that much nowadays I tend to like sort of control like what I eat before I dream or sleep and in turn you know because I don't drink because I don't eat much sugary foods or drink many sugary drinks before I go to bed uh, I feel like I dream a lot less than I used to which is sort of good I guess dreams for me are sort of like tiring 
Can't dream if you sleep little to begin with. No, you enter a period of REM. I think you dream when you're in like that REM uh, sleep cycle of your resting phase. And I think... I think it's around that, around that time. I think it's like an hour or two in is when you actually can start like dreaming stuff up. Alright, let's try a different area. The Nexus. I want to find a... I want to find an, like an effect area, so we'll try to see. Are we still in my party? Or no, you're still in my party, Cyber. But I don't see. I don't see you in the map right now. I guess we'll just keep on exploring. I close my eyes and wake up to my alarm. I've had that feeling where like I sort of know for a second that I'm about to wake up, and I feel like I know my alarm is gonna go off. So I wake up, and it's sort of like. Weird, because I like predicted the fact that I was about to wake up. My nexus is, is different. It's interesting. Oh no, you're right there. You're right here. Yeah, I see you. All right, let's try this grave area. Maybe it'll be spooky. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> this is a lot less spooky than I thought it'd be. Are these guys gonna do anything if I touch them? Nope. Hmm. You know, for a place called Graveyard World, I sort of expected a bit more- Oh wait, no, 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 there's something here. Alright. Please. I would like an effect. Please give me an effect. Oh. We're still in Graveyard World, it looks like. Oh! What? Huh? Uh oh. I like the audio in here. It's very nice. Very surreal. I want to give me an effect. Have you found an effect yet, Cyber? Because I haven't. No, I haven't found anything yet. I guess it might be kind of hard to like find one because it's likely that they're a lot harder to find than than um, what's it called? The normal effects from Yuma Nikki. That's a clover, isn't it? What the heck? Let's nice dance. Hmm. Alright. Doubtful that we'll find an effect in this area, but it'll probably have like a nexus area. Like this. I think this might be a nexus area right here. Um oh, there's two areas actually. I see a lily pad and I think I see a graveyard thingy. Let's try this graveyard thingy first. Oh, that's just the nexus. Uh, Lily? Okay, there's something here. Ooh. Red Lily Lake. Spider lilies. Ooh. I like this place. The audio is pretty nice, too. And it sounds like you're walking, like, on actual puddles. This time. Ooh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello? Oh, nice. I wonder if she's supposed to be like a... Maybe she's like a kitsune? Or like a fox? You know, no, no, that, that's definitely... Those are definitely like tails, right? Those are ears. She's in like a shrine maiden costume. Uh, are you chatting right now? I don't think you are. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Hmm. Alright. Well, she didn't give us an effect, for unfortunately, so we'll keep on looking for another one. Or we'll just find another nexus area. You know, the thing about like this game, because there's so many, there's so many fan-made worlds. I feel like that a lot of worlds would be less open to interpretation and just more made for this for the sake of being surreal because i know there's like a lot of there's been a lot of discussion online as far as like what certain worlds meant for madotsuki because you know there was technically is that a bench can you stay here oh you can 
So there was like a bench, I mean not bench, what am I saying? There was like sort of interpretations that you can sort of do with um, with the original game of, uh, with Madansuki. And it was made by one person, so he probably had like a story or a plot or like some type of setting in the back of his head. It's probably very vague, obviously, and very open to interpretation, but since it was made by one guy, I think it was a lot easier to just sort of like dissect what, she, what each dream sort of like represented in terms of like Maratsuki's life. But here, since it's like made by so many different people, at least the, um, the fan-made version of it is, I feel like it'll be a lot more... Wait, how are you doing that? Hey. Oh, you can like look around. I feel like it'll be a lot less like straightforward. And I feel like a lot of them will probably be more just like, you know, dreamlike for the sake of being dreamlike. Which like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the idea of having all these impossible places like be possible in terms of like a video game or a dream is very, very, um, it was really cool, I'd say. Kitsune? Wait, what? Upside down, Lily? Huh? Oh! Uh-oh. Wait, what did that do? Huh? Uh-oh. Wait, what did that do? What did we do? Are we in the same world? Oh. Okay, here's the Kitsune. She's still fine. It just... It just tinted our... It just tinted our screen red, it looks like. What about... Maybe we can just interact with it again, or not? Hold on, is that where we came from? This is where we came from, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, it just goes back to that graveyard area. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we could try finding another nexus point. But I feel like so far, all the early nexus points just sort of lead to either two areas that both have like dead ends, or just like have a dead end already by itself. Maybe we just haven't found the right one yet. Oh, okay. All right, over here, there's a heart that looks like it's probably seen better days. So let's go try this one. Uh, enter. Oh god. Oh, oh god. I don't like that. Hospital. What? Whoa. What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Can you go back around? Can you go around him? Wait, you can go around him, and like, there's like black void down here. Or not? Oh no, no, it just goes down here. How about if we go back in him again? Oh. Okay. Ah, the hospital. Let's see if they, we can find an entrance around here. No. Well, it's called hospital, right? So it probably has to have some sort of Entrance, right? It has to have one. God, dude, we really need to... We really, really need to find a... <laughs> a bike soon. Okay, and... Why is it called hospital? Oh, wait, here. Okay, here we go. There's a door here. Let's go. Ooh. No. <laughs> No cash. It's like an actual hospital. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, this is like a real hospital. Oh, that's a huge... Oh, this is a huge waiting room. I'm actually really surprised that they sort of like put like actual physical buildings instead of just like random dreamscapes here. Um, what about here? Nothing. I, I like it though, I like it a lot. Okay, there's nothing in there. Hopefully there's like some effect in here. Somewhere in here. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what?
Wait, what? You can like move stuff around. Can you go back on this side though and move that back? Oh, you can. How about it's that way? Okay. Can't go on there. Can still go around here. I don't know. I sort of like this vibe. I kind of wonder what this game would be like or feel like if there were like a lot of people, so many people that like no matter where you went in this game, that there'd always be people around like in every single space. I mean, obviously, I don't think this game would ever get popular enough to get to that point. It would be nice if it could, but realistically, I think it'll always sort of like be like a sort of like a niche thing. So yeah, we can hide right now. Thanks for the redeem, Meta. <sighs> okay. Nothing here. All right, let's go back then. We can still go to this left side, and we can go back north in the main lobby. Unless it just keeps on- oh. Okay. Nothing here. How- the fact that it's so silent reminds me of like that one level from- from my house that wad like- oh. Hello? Oh. I don't think he wants us to do anything. It's sort of like a full body cast, doesn't it look like it? Rather than just being like a- a walking onesie. It does. It sort of looks more like a, a full body cast. Nothing here. <gasps> effect. Effect. In no. I don't want a maze. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. I'm not. I don't want to do a maze yet. I want to find an effect before I do a maze. How about what's here? I think here. Um, uh, people here. Oh, why are there so? Please, please stop giving me mazes. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sober enough to do mazes anytime soon. How about here? Are there really no effects I can get early on? Is it really like, is it really that hard to find an effect right now? You think for a game that's like online and oh god, oh. Can't even go in here. God, how many hallways have we gone down? It's like a third hallway. I probably wouldn't even be able to go back to the uh Oh. Huh? Hospital outskirts. Ooh, there's actually music here. Okay, before we go there, let me keep on trying the other areas. Okay, the hospital feels like another like big sort of like nexus point for finding other area dreams. Oh, I think it's this. What? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh! Oh, an effects! Hey! We got a new badge. What the heck? Wait, what? <gasps> Chainsaw! Oh my god! Hell yeah! We get a chainsaw? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Press and hold confirming to use effects. Okay. How do I... Wait. Is this my... This is my effect, right? Okay. Am I stuck in here now? I got a new badge. It's kind of... That was kind of visceral though, holy shit. But... It's not recorded in here. Press and hold confirm... Okay, I have to hold the confirm key, okay. Is this not the confirm key? Z? X? Z? Wait. Confirm. Enter space or Z keys. Press and hold confirm key to use effects. Okay, hold on. Enter? No, space. No? Oh, come on! I just got an effect, I can't use it? No! When you think about it, a chainsaw is just a bunch of knives taped together. I mean, you're not wrong. But, 
a knife a bunch of knives together can't do anything unless they have like a motor okay i think i'm stuck in here i have to wake up i hope i don't lose my i hope i don't lose my uh effect when i wake up no it says i found an effect it sounds it says i found one okay let's go save i don't want to lose my progress uh save here day two I wonder what determines what how many days you've been in here for. Alright. Let's go again. Maybe since I have a chainsaw, I can like interact with people now or interact with like things. Let me move this stuff out of the way too. Uh Okay, that does that. What if I does that spacebar also do something? No. Wait, fairies. Oh, that's a f that's probably an effect, isn't it? Input? Oh, no. Yeah, that's for my controller. How do I... How do I choose my effect? Am I, like... Am I missing something? FPS? No, no. I can't choose my effects! Wait a minute! Oh, I just got a chainsaw! Let me use it! No! Isn't a chainsaw a lubricated chain stuck to a car motor? Um, yeah, it is. All the chains are like sort of like sharpened and then it vibrates or like runs through itself over and over again to create the effect of like cutting. It's also super dangerous. It's actually very, very inefficient to use as a weapon because it's very easy for stuff to get caught inside the chainsaw's like motor. And if it, gets caught, if it gets caught, then it just stops entirely. And then the motor just gets completely fucked over. And then it gets fucked over, then you're just sort of like, well, now what? So if you're going to use it as a weapon, um, most likely, that's a bad call. You'd be better off just like using a knife or something. Yeah, you know, like, have you seen those movies, like, especially in like Evil Dead, when you see like Ash Williams use a chainsaw? Um, yeah, that, that shit probably won't fly. As soon as like you dig into like I don't know a zombie and a deadite or a person, it's just gonna get completely stuck in there. And then once like blood gets into the chainsaw, you know it gets drenched, and then the motor will also get drenched, and then it just stops working. Yeah, hell yeah, science, science for sure. Make sure when you're using when you got a weapon of choice, chainsaw is not recommended. Like literally, all someone has to do is throw like a shirt or like a sweater or something into the chainsaw. And it's gonna get, it's gonna, it's gonna like you know be useless. The latest Saw movie is an indication that I should be using a wire saw. I have not seen the latest Saw movie yet. Uh, I think the Saw movie is very very mid in terms of like you know story overall. And yeah, people say it's like torture porn, but I think the first and maybe the second Saw was pretty decent, and then it just sort of like became kind of not decent. <laughs> Okay, but chainsaw fights are awesome. Yeah, chainsaw man, you know, obviously. CRT filter wear barrel. We have no need for a CRT filter yet. You should try it. Okay, my next stream, look forward to my next stream where I will start battling viewers live on camera with chainsaws. So hi, Han. Uh, how do I... Did I really not get any effects? I'm a... Wait, is that really... Why did I not get any effects? Are you serious? I would beat you in a chainsaw fight? Yeah, you probably would. I, I don't doubt it. Don't worry, I'll pull up my gun. We'll see who wins. Chainsaw versus gun. Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre could have been stopped if only someone had a sweater to throw a gem at. Right? Like, the thing that sort of like killed people in, I think, that movie was that the guy was like really insanely buff, so instead of like using the chainsaw as like a, you know, as a cutting tool, it's sort of like he used it to like stab people and then like, you know, rip their guts. Or they used it to like cut their necks or, or like their, their shoulders, and then they bleed out, right? Obviously. And I guess that sort of would work for like the first two victims, but then after like the third victim, I think they would probably just like be completely screwed over. Anything here? Okay, let me go back to this effect again. I don't know why I didn't get my effect. 
Let me try one more time. Okay, uh, there we go. So we got the chance out. Did we, did we like cut that person? Is that like the idea? We cut this ghost and then they just disappear. We killed them so hard they died to death. Well, I have the chainsaw, but I can't escape. Am I just like bugged? Am I glitched? Can you, did you get the chainsaw cyber? Cause I got it from the hospital. I got it near like the very, very end tail end of the hospital. Yeah, you killed them so hard they died to death, exactly. I forgot where that was from. I know that like, uh, you got this room too. Do you know how to actually use the effect? Because I can't attack anything with it and I also can't pull it up. I also don't know how to pull up the effect menu. So I'm sort of like, I'm sort of like lost right now. Not yet. Hmm. Also, thank you for the, thank you for the raid, Yumasuki. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good time playing Soma. Did you manage to beat it or are you still like sort of like in the middle of the campaign? I know that's sort of like a classic. It's kind of weird to say that's a classic because, you know, Amnesia is a classic, but not like its sequel is a classic. But yeah, Soma is definitely like a classic horror game considering like its uh, themes and how it sort of like evolved from Amnesia. Hit X, status, check character. Hit X, status, check character. Chainsaw. Oh, wait, but... Wait. How do we... I can't... Okay, okay, I know it's equipped, but I don't know how to like actually use it from the effects. Finished up Soma and also played some other spooky games. Nice! Well, I hope you had a good time with your stream overall. I had definitely have to try Soma at some point. Uh, right now, we're currently playing Yume Tuki, which is like sort of like a fan game sequel to Yume Nikki, and it has a lot more content. There's a lot more effects. Uh, there's a lot more worlds, and the version that we're playing right now is online, so like anyone can hop in. Also, thank you for the thank you for the follow, Kpars Capybar. I appreciate it. And for people coming in for the first time, hi, I'm Beryl Beru. I am a lazy ass demon intern who usually plays horror games and RPGs. And, you know, like I said, we're currently playing Yuma Tuki. I have not played this before. I played the Yuma Nikki games, but never this version. So I'm sort of going in blind. And there are sort of like horror elements in this game, but it's more like a walking exploration simulator overall. Uh, so I know we have the chainsaw, but I don't know how to like use it from the effect unfortunately and i think i can get out of this room so thank you for the follow too grace park thank you thank you appreciate it yeah for him coming in for the first or for anyone coming in from the raid including you uh yume if you'd like to you know like uh get some rest get some food get some water i totally understand it's one of my favorite games for a long time and i only just got around to finishing also i love and know a lot about yume and nikki and tuki and such been meaning to read you for a while. I'll leave you on. I'll sleep sometimes. Have a good night. Yeah, totally. Thank you for the, thank you for the uh, raid again. And if you're gonna go to sleep, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Yeah, this is multiplayer. I have the, I have the game pinned, on, on my wait. Nice sailor, Fuku. I have the game pinned on my pins. So if you guys want to join and like explore with me or just do your own thing, um, just join it from that link. And it's a browser game. You can play this all in your browser. There's currently like 140 people on, so it's not going to be too hard to find like other people. Damn, I'm kind of sad though, because is it possible to increase streamer? I don't think so. I mean, you can't really interact with other people here. It's probably just like exploring. All right, let's go back to sleep. And actually, let's go save again. Okay. Yeah, you're going to bed? All right. Have a good rest of your night. Have a good dream. Hope you don't dream too much like surreal stuff like in this game. I recommend Flow if you haven't played it before as well. Good night for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to find my first effect before before anything else. We're like an hour in and I have no idea what's going on. Time to grief barrel stream. How are you going to grief it? There's nothing to grief. 
the only thing you can grieve me is if like you somehow managed to find like I don't know uh, effects and then flex them on me somehow. Yeah, for sure. This is like definitely a cool game to just explore with a friend. Like for anyone who wants to try it out, just like explore with me or find random worlds, real weird worlds with me, um, and we can just get freaked out, I guess, together. Although some worlds are freaky like this, but other worlds like the first world we got into, like the lamp lantern, the lantern puddle world. That one was really nice. I liked it a lot. That was really, really good vibes from there. All right. I know how to consistently get to hospital, but I just want to find my first. I want to find my first effects. All right, over here. And then maybe I can go north. Are you still in the hospital, Cyber? Let's see, let's try over here. Maybe there's like, I can go north. Hey, what's up here? Oh! Left? You're left? Oh, that, that place looks cool. I want to try that place later. I'm guessing you're going to go into the interior version of the hospital, right? Because I think we go down like three hallways, and then I think the first door on the top should be the next area of the hospital but that area also looks really cool we haven't been there yet all right one more and then here are you still in the uh what's it called that one ward with the the place where you get the chainsaw effect wait how'd you how did this person get how did this person manage to get the chainsaw i mean how do you wait how did you get it Wait, that's you. I guess we just keep going here? Apparently for you... <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't gone down this way yet, so maybe... Could be something here? Alright, you know what? I'll follow your lead because you have the chainsaw and I don't. So, sir, obviously you did something right. Let's see. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! It was so... Oh! <gasps> nice! Oh my god, we got the chainsaw! Nice, 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 nice! Uh, okay, now we can equip it, right? Uh, let's see. How do you equip it? Effects? Nice! Okay, okay. At least we managed to get our first effect. Did you find this all by yourself? Oh my god. Does it just all go into like different nexus areas though? Oh uh, no. Gonna go cut the tails off the Katsune now. Is that what you're supposed to do next? Or is that just something you want to do? How did you manage to... Wait, there's something here. You want... Can you even do that? Is that something you can do? Alright. Um, you... Okay, so you just want to try it. I got you. I'm going to keep exploring the hospital. Go back in dot. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just start wandering too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have a party set up right now. My party is um, interns. If you want to join that, uh, Gray. It's... um. If you just want to, like, have a party chat or just be in local. The heart is trippy? Which is the heart? This one? Oh! That's a cool background. I love the backgrounds of this game, man. Strange new places. I love the original game. Yeah, I've never played Yuma Tuki before. So I want to see, like, how crazy people can get with making these uh, types of games. Or these types of maps. Does it just loop? It just loops, doesn't it? Oh, wait, is the dot here? Oh no, it just it just go back there. Okay, let me just go back there. It just changes the background kinda. All right, uh, let's go over. I'm gonna go back. I saw a diamond changed. Wait, it does? Hold on. I'll try one more time. 
I keep saying I'll try one more time, but I do. I will try it one more time, and then I'll go back to the the hospital area and check out the north part of the hospital. Okay, diamond, diamond. This one, the broken diamond. Oh, it does. And then what about the spades? No, no spades. Uh, let's see. Symbol set of background and set of looped, but diamond changes. The diamond, like the broken diamond, right? Does the spades do anything? The spades is still the same. It's very much like my dreams to find something that gives me insect and then something else that just simply screams at me. <laughs> Don't worry! If something screams at you, just get the chainsaw like we did and then just like cut it up. You can be your own dreams like worst nightmare that way. Okay, spade. Nope, still the same. Heart messes up again. All right, uh, I'm gonna go back to the to the hospital if I can find like that dot area. If I can, I might be lost. How do I get back over there? Oh wait, no, here it is. Okay, over here, and then back up here. I'm gonna make it my goal to at least find the right. The, uh, the bike so that we can manage to navigate a bit easier. If I remember correctly, I, f I think you found the bike from one of like the lamp areas, but was it? No, no. How did you find the bike again? I don't remember. It's been so long. Last time I played Yuma Nikki was over like six months ago. It was over half a year ago. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way back right. I'm gonna go north. The bike was on the highway. That was in the original game, right? <laughs> yeah, go to sleep, Yume. I told like you know you're you're kind of dreaming up weird stuff right now if you if you stick around. Gosh, yeah, it very much is like dreams. I like the fact they mix like dreamscape worlds with like actual physical locations. You know, it gives us a sense of like dreamlike realism, if that makes sense. Okay. Even though it's kind of weird, I like the fact that I do have a chance out now. It makes me feel slightly more secure with the fact that I have a weapon in my hand, even though most likely it won't be able to do anything to actually protect myself. Alright, here we go. Something new. Garden world? Hello. Oh! Uh oh. Um. Oh. Uh, whoops. Okay. Probably don't want to cut him. He do be following us though. No, I didn't change the. No, it was an accident. I, I. I wanted to talk to him. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to put the chainsaw away for now. Why is the frog barking? No, I didn't. I did not. I did not change a, a, a frog dog. Hello? Inusan Psyche. Whoa! It's a dog! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Before anything else. Before anything else. What's this? Ooh. Garden world. Okay. Um. I want to explore the dog. Wait, can I. Okay, I want to explore the dog area. So. Is there anything here? Or is it just gonna be him? That's it? Oh, no? Oh! Uh oh. Is it gonna get more and more distorted? No! No, not, not, the, not the dog suit! I can't, I can't, I can't go up there. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, he doesn't look good. Oh god, that, he's, he's seen better days. Hello. No, he just, he just having a twirl. I did not change. No, we didn't do anything. Look, it's non-canon, non-canon events. What is this? Um, was a mop here, mop thingy. All right, I think it's time to experiment. Coin! We got a coin. We got a hundred yen. Wait, can I can I farm that person for a hundred yen? Is that possible? Oh, wait! No, 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 no. There's something. This is new. This is new. Who, where are we? 
We're still in Inusan Psyche, apparently, according to the uh, according to the location, which I guess you guys are still can't see because I'm covering it right now. In my dreams, it's all can. No, it's not canon. Don't let it be canon. Okay, we'll keep on going. Maybe it'll go back to like a different world. It might. I feel like it's going to a different world, most likely. Wait, that's it? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I think that's it. Speaking of my experience with their twirl, it's the same. Look, I don't have good experiences with twirled stuff. Because I've seen Uzumaki and I know how that ends, okay? Also, I hope you guys don't have trypophobia. Fear of holes, because it looks like there's going to be a lot of that stuff here. Oh, this looks like a portal. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Winter and summer, I guess? Avocado. <laughs> Avocado flower. Oh god, you know what this looks like? I'm not gonna- no, no, I won't say it. I, I won't say it. I, I- I think- No, no, it doesn't look- no, it doesn't- yeah, it looks like avocados. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? Let me in! No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not saying it. Alright, chainsaw time. Let me in! I can change out the door, can't I? No. All right. I think this leads somewhere else. Also, hi, Abby. I hope your stream went well. I saw you were doing like a like a spooky stream with like other VTubers. How did that go? Do it, streamer. I'm not gonna say it looks like a butt plug. Okay, shut up. I'm not gonna say it. We need to find. We have more important stuff to do, anyways. We gotta find the entrance. Oh, wait, bike, 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 bike. Yeah! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Um, you guys, you guys, uh, for anyone that's playing right now, I think right now, only right now, we have Gray and Cyber. The bike, I'll try to retrace my steps. Yeah, we managed to find the bike! Uh, can I combine effects? I can't. Oh my god, dude, look at that! It's not even like a bike, it's like a, it's like a moped. All right, I'm gonna try to find you guys. I'll try to retrace my steps because I don't remember how I managed to get over here. Um, I think I turned this on, and then I went this way. I'll try to I'll try to find you guys. Also, Abby, I don't know if like you're if you're like uh, you know tired, but this is a multiplayer game. So I have the link in the pins right now, if you want to check it out. And you just download it, or you don't download it. You play it inside your browser. It requires no downloading. Like, everyone that you see, like, uh, that I come across will be people that you can, like, talk to, like, in chat and stuff. Or just if you want to explore worlds with other people, which is sort of like what we're doing right now in, in chat. We have, like, two or three people playing with us right now. So it's in the hospital area. Um, yeah, Cyber, if you remember where we, this place is, the waiting room, you go up north here and then you follow the area and go to the garden room. I must obtain food, I will see you. Okay, there you are. I see you, I see you. Wait, how'd you get the graveyard? Is that the graveyard? <laughs> That's the grave effect, isn't it? Nice. Uh, let's see. I'll try to go back to the... Oh, wait, Apple Census. What's the Apple Census? I think I'll go back to the hub. Is here graveyard world? I think we went like north. No, down here. Uh, and then over here. Eat, exit hospital. Go south. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think Gray's at the nexus, so I guess I'll wait around for for him to appear. Talk of the walking grave. Okay, okay, I'll do that in a bit. Dude, we found out- we found two, three effects. Um, do you need me to lead you to the bike? Or are you good? Do you know how to get there from- from what you saw? If you're not sure, just go north, um, go to the garden area, exit the- exit the garden, and then go to the, like, go exit the building and look around until you find the bike. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Barrel gets straight. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I have never gone tricked at a single portion in my life. Okay. Okay, let me get some more water right now. And I've barely done a dent in this, like, rum. I'm so sad. I'm drinking right now, but I feel like I'm doing a, a disproportionate amount of, like, coke to rum right now. So I'm sort of losing my my buzz, I guess, for this for this drink. Yeah, I'm drinking rum and coke right now, Abby. Uh, didn't you see the the stream title? We're drinking. Don't. Well, I guess we're, we're dreaming and drinking. Drinking and dreaming. Drinking and dreaming. That was it. Can I try? Can I buy Strong Zero instead? I don't have Strong Zero in like around my area. I can't find it. I can't get it. Okay, here we go. Thanks for the offer. If you play ever play again, I might. I'm sitting with my team preparing for a karaoke list tomorrow's in bed so I can prep before stream. Yeah, I totally understand. This is one of those games where you can just sort of like, you know, pick up and play. Because, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You just look around for... You look around for creepy worlds and cool effects. And it's your choice whether you want to play solo or with other people. And in this case, I am sort of playing, like, I'm doing both, I guess. I'm sort of, like, exploring my own and, like, running into other, like, people from, from chat. Yeah, yeah, I'll be totally down to play this if you want to. Um, I think gray might be, might take a while, so I will go get that grave effect. <laughs> All right, so hospital south. You said go south, right? There's a walking grave. Exit hospital, go south. Oh, you mean exit as in like, you know, go left and then exit, I'm assuming, right? Like leave hospital? Wait, I mean back where we came? Ah, okay, there should be a grave then here, right? A walking grave? Oh, here we go. Nice. I don't think the grave actually does anything, though. Become a grave. Wait, can I... <laughs> you can't... It's so slow. Oh, my God. Maybe I can use it to, like, stealth so that people can't find me. I love it. I love it. There's just so many random effects in here. Uh, chainsaw. No, no. Bike. Play the game with that? What game? What with, with the grave stone on my head? Just go super fucking slow everywhere? By the time I manage to get another effect, it'll be like literally next year. I'm not sure if there's any place else we can go inside the hospital. I think we got everything that we needed to get. There's a thing in the graveyard here that runs super fast if you pull out the chainsaw. Uh, let me see. One of these? Wait, actually, what if you just like take out the chainsaw and start chainsawing? Whoa! Whoa, you can rev up the- You can pop a wheelie with the bike? That's so badass! Okay, hold on. Uh... Chainsaw. Nothing? Oh, that did not sound good. Oh god! No, it's so graphic. Okay, uh, let's go find other stuff that we can chainsaw. Maybe like this thing? Can we chainsaw this thing? You cannot chainsaw this thing. Alright. Uh, what can we... This thing? Maybe it's this thing. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'm so sorry. I just want to check if you have cash. Uh, I have not seen anything that would run away from me just yet. A monster? No, it's in a dream! It, it, it's a dream thing, so it's fine. You know, it's like quick saving before you commit mass murder in Skyrim, you know? The little avocado hat thing. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I have a bike, so it's a lot easier to explore stuff right now. This thing? Chainsaw. <gasps> oh, he ran away! Wait, what happens if you manage to chainsaw him? I think you can probably chainsaw him, right? Oh my god, he is going crazy! Well, he's really scared. 
Okay, that that probably that probably means that we can probably manage to chainsaw him, and he probably dropped something, right? Maybe like coins or another effect. I don't even know where he went. No, I lost him. I actually lost him. He can't kill parts of your own mind. They're just somewhere else, right? Yeah, they're in the subcon they're in the subconscious. Like you managed to put something away in the deep recesses of your mind, but you know, like subconsciously, that it still exists. Okay, let me see if I can exit and try to find him again. Where is the avocado thing? I want to cut him up. I want some avocado for some dinner right now. It was actually kind of hard to find him. This place is pretty, like, pretty, pretty big. No, it's pretty, it's pretty big. I know, right? Time to make some guacamole. Look. People, you, you can't blame me for making some dinner, okay? It's not murder, it's just preparing some, some dinner. It's preparing food. That's how I that's how I cope, that's how I justify it. He might be lost forever. I think he got so scared he might he might have like just exited the game. He logged off. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think he logged off. Alright. Um Redly Lake. Oh, wait, the Kitsune, right? There's a Kitsune here? Alright, let's see. Can we do anything with this? Oh no! That was really awful. Um, Alright, uh, that... That did not happen, okay? We didn't, we didn't know such thing. Remember kids, devouring Vegetoid doesn't compromise pacifist. Exactly! I know, we're on a bicycle! I love this bike. It's I'm so glad I managed to find it this early on, randomly without any effects. So hey, Cyber. I don't think there's anything other, anything left in this area. That might be it. I think that's it. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna go explore other areas. Uh, wake up. Let's go. Save. I'm gonna save too, actually. Here we go. And save. And let's go back to sleep. I wonder, you know, you know what? It feels like this world is a lot different from the world that, like doesn't this background change from what you see in the, in the real world? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Why is this so weird? Yeah. There's like eyes and gore and everywhere. Okay. Nothing? Can't interact with anything. Ooh. It just changes randomly, huh? It's just an edgy phase, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, the computer is having a moment. It's in this rebellious phase. Oh, that's different. Wait, is it different because it's a different time of day? Probably. All right, I want to explore the book world next. I'm going to the library. Maybe we'll find Patchy here. Hmm, minis. Can we go down here? Hey, what the heck? Wait, oh, I, oh, that's so cool. Dude, that's so detailed. You get off the bike and then you sit down. And then I'm guessing when you get back up, you're gonna get off the seat and then get on the bike. That's so, oh my God, I love this game so much. That's such a small detail. This is such a small detail they didn't have to do, but I like how they did it anyways. Oh, hi. I can't move around, but yeah. I wonder how many effects there are in this game. I think someone said there's like 40, 40 plus ish, most likely. I also want to find the tur- oh no, the tur- the uh, the trumpet too, at any, at any point. Hello, I've played that before. I'm, I'm not surprised. This is such a big, this is such a big like, fan game for you and Nikki. It's one of the most popular ones. I wouldn't doubt if like people have played this before. But this is like my first time playing 
playing it, so it's really interesting, I'd say. Hmm. <clears throat> Dude, look at that! It's so cool! They have all these small details that, like, you really wouldn't think of, but it's so nice that they managed to, like, introduce it. Did you know each time you chance out a kitsune, she loses another tail? So... How do you find her again? Because once I once I chainsawed her, she just disappeared. I didn't. Oh. Huh. Huh. I I can't re I can't read Japanese apparently, so I, I don't know what that says. Maybe it's spooky. I'm guessing it's probably like spooky stuff, right? Or like dream text stuff. Yeah, that's completely unreadable. No, the, the, I think this is stuff like uploaded from like a JPEG or something. Jade saw her turn Lily's own red with the upside down one, then hit the blue thing to go back to the cemetery to go back to the Lily fast. So what happens if you manage to chainsaw it? It is readable? I, I can't read it. I can't read it on my end or your guys' end. It's probably readable inside the game files. Oh, here we go. How much time has passed since you went away? I have spent an immeasurable time in that cramped, pitch-black husk. No one's voice or hand or warmth or coldness or consciousness or light or gaze reach where I am. All the things you gave me have turned into colorless ash. Someday, I too will become that. Someday, I will become that. But I am not afraid. If I can go to where you are, I am not afraid. Soon, I can go to where you are. And then more Japanese text? Wait, can you read all these books here? Oh! Why- why is a book- why is a book playing- playing music? Wait, what is this? You're playing that right now, actually? Are you playing the standalone version, Eva? Or are you playing the multiplayer version? Because right now we're playing the multiplayer version if you want to join us. That's pretty cool. Wait, so you can interact with like every single book in this library, huh? Whoa. Um, I don't know what that is. Probably a puzzle? Or a map? Shit, no. It's wrong. Wait, what the heck? Alien text? This is a really big library, and there's a lot of stuff to do in here. It's actually kind of insane. Temporal. <laughs> Wait a minute. This doesn't seem like regular tempura. When I was young, I had a friend who said, I don't know. I don't know. He said he didn't know about his dreams for the future. He said he didn't even know tomorrow. No tomorrow's. Oh God. He said he didn't even know tomorrow's schedule. He was a friend who didn't even know what to do. Around the time he turned sixty, he unexpectedly passed away. There was an accident, but he was conscious, and there was a cure too. But he just passed away. A few days before he passed, I visited him and talked to him. Is it hard for you? Is there anything you want? He looked at my face, as usual, and looked away, answering, I don't know. He passed away, not knowing. I kind of like how there's like all these like individual, whoa. All these like individual poems or like small like stories that don't really make sense in context, but that's fine because like even in a dream, it doesn't have to make any sense. The game is really big. It's huge. Like, un unimaginably huge. I'd imagine that, like, even if I were to play this game for, like, a good two days, I would not even see even, like, a slight fraction of what this game has to offer. There are a lot of gears in this factory, and naturally, they spin these wonderful cogs. However, they never last for long. They're quite brittle. I see them turning, and I feel quite somber. Nobody else seemed to, but I noticed one of them. I watched it turn carefully. It's been spinning with vigor for two or three years. As a result, I started naming them one by one. Initially, the other employees found it bizarre, but before I knew it, they too started addressing the cogs by name. 
I'm sure they know. I'm sure they are doing it with pride. I know that I'm proud of the work I've done. All right. I should stop reading these because if I if I keep reading these, it's gonna take literally like a good three or four hours. So I'll come back here later. I wanna, oh my God! There's so many books. Harm myself or annoy, or reason or with or be patient or cry or shout. What should I do? Why wow, there's so many books? I can't read that book. The blood won't stop. I stopped it with a tissue and threw it away. It still won't stop. I stopped it with a handkerchief and it threw it away. It still, it still won't stop. I stopped it with a hand and it threw it away. Dude, Jesus Christ. Wait, this looks new. Huh? Oh, okay. These poems are nostalgic? I don't know if I'd describe them as nostalgic, but I like the fact that like every single place in this library is like almost every other shelf manages to have a book. I'd imagine that they just keep on adding more and more books. Is there anything else to do in this library? I mean, I like it. This is a very like relaxing library. Like, if you ever just wanted to like get away from the world, you wanted to like just get lost in the lore of this game. You just go here and read like all this stuff. All right, that was the book world. That was the library world. Uh, where have you not gone next? Mm, this looks comfy. Let's try this one. Portrait. Never mind. Not. Not comfy. <laughs> not comfy. Not comfy. Not comfy. All right, portrait. Portrait purgatory. That's a that's a wild name. Oh. Oh. Oh, Poseidon Plaza. That's a tank! We got spat out of a tank. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, I like the vibes for this one. A new stream idea. A stream just for reading everything in this library. Uh, if there's enough stuff to do in that library, uh, I would be down. You know, honestly, considering how big this game is, I might visit this game again. Although, we do have to check out um, dot .flow. Off the recommendation that someone did, that you may have recommended for us. Perhaps they're the music of individuals, maybe even just one. Well, I think that every single map in here was made by one single person, and then it gets like vetted, and then it gets added into the main game. Because they said it was a main. They said that this game was made by a bunch of different people with different visions. So I wouldn't be surprised. Like it's not all made by one person, like Kikiyama did for Yumaniki. This is so relaxing, holy shit. I wanna like, just walk around. I like the music for this too, it's really nice. You know what actually this reminds me of? It's like a mall. I mean, they did say it was a plaza, right? It's like a very dream-like plaza. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> guys. I think, I think they found out that I'm playing this game. Uh, hold on, L let me move this for a second. I'm gonna move myself. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> I th VTuber is now playing this right now. I don't know. Uh, I, I think they know. I, I think they know. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, huh? Wait, there's a difference. Wait, there's a different area, huh? Oh wait, is, wait, where are we? Oh, is it like a balcony? Oh, it's like a balcony, isn't it? Wait, can we go back? Can we go down there? I guess, I guess not. Okay, let's try. Wait, it says I can go down here. Oh, I can go down this way. Oh, holy shit. Wait, is that a, is that a dragon? Oh my God. Wait, that's so cool. That's so cool. You can just, dude, this is so detailed. Poseidon Plaza, right? All right. Imagine if this place was like actually filled with like random NPCs that you can just like interact with. 
you know, for like one single map, this is just one single map. I can't imagine how much time and effort it took to make this entire map. Look at that, there's reflections on the ground, there's sun, like, pouring through the windows. That's probably why it's empty. Cityscape. Yeah, 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 but I really like the fact that, like, it's so, like, detailed and well rendered, you know? Churchscape. Yeah, the, the windows definitely have that feeling, for sure. Oh, shit. Huh? No, I didn't want to... No! No, I didn't want to use my money. I, I, I got that cash fair and square by killing someone with it, man. Banners used to adore in many areas like this. Yeah, yeah, they, like, these, um... These banners... They sort of feel like they have, like, a medieval sort of, like, religious type of feeling. It's like a mix between, like, medieval era and, like, modern era building aesthetics. Oh no, I feel like I could, like, just relax in this area for a long time and just enjoy the ambient atmosphere and the music. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. All right, looks like I can go down here. Oh, there's more? How, how big is this place? Oh no, it's incomplete, I guess. But how big is this place? Oh, uh, this is the end? No, no, no. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, this is like not even, this isn't even like a normal RPG maker map anymore. This is like something they see like fully from like an actual game. Look at that forklifts. Holy shit. Can I go in here? It's locked. This is also locked. Yeah, it's locked. How about in here? No, nothing here. Nothing here. Something here. Exit. There's an exit here. Okay, I'm guessing if I leave this area, it's going to take me to the next area. Wait, boombox? Effect? Effect, please. No, no effects. Lame. Alright, you know what? I feel like I'm getting a bit more sober from exploring all this area, so... I... I'm gonna take a drink. Give me one second. God, dude, you know... Honestly, if they just made a game where you just explore like a liminal map like this with nice music, that's a skull. That's so cool. Where you explore like a liminal space map like a mall with like ambient mall music background noise, I would play that shit out of that game. Like, I don't care if it's, there's like nothing to do in it. I would just take in the atmosphere and the vibes so much. Oh, is it locked? No! It's locked! Can I can I cut it open? No! Is this the end? There's no way this is the end. There has to be some place I can go. Can't go there. Oh, are you kidding? No! It feels like I could do something with this boombox. But maybe not yet. Maybe, can I cut it? Can't cut it? Okay, it doesn't look like... There's anything there. Oh wait, someone, <laughs> someone wait, someone actually chatted me. Hold on, give me a sec. Hello, the game is really cool. There we go. Everyone seems like, like really laid back for this community in this in this game. I kind of like it. It's very very like relaxing. It's a nice change of pace from like all this all this stuff. All right, I think, unfortunately, that's the end of the Poseidon Plaza. I don't think we can explore any more of this. Click the go globe to go to world chat. Global? Wait, was I not talking in all chat? I can't tell if I was talking in all chat or global chat. I'm guessing that was, oh wait. Was I, oh no, was that message viewable? It wasn't? Okay, hold on. T gone, I sleep. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Yeah, thanks for, thanks again for jumping by, Abby. I hope you had a good stream, and I hope... What's that noise? 
Oh, it's the, I'm going up and down the stairs. That's, oh my god, dude. I can't get over how much detail is in this game. Yeah, have a good rest, Abby. I know you got a big day tomorrow, so I think uh, hopefully I'll see you around by then. All right, let me see. Hiya. This game is super cool. There we go. Is it, I, oh man, I want to explore more of this area, but I don't think I can. There's nothing else I can go. There's nowhere else I can go. All right, let's go over here. Go back north. And east and west. They responded with so true sleepy. Yume Tuki is a sequel to Yume Nei. Yeah, yeah, it's unofficial. It's a fan game, like, made... It's like a spiritual successor, I'd say. I'd say, in terms of the content. Oh. Wait, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not I'm, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Okay, here we go. This place is so huge. I got a badge. A badge. Maybe I can get something cool in here, then? Is it because Yume Tuki has a story while you... Uh, I mean, Yumaniki sort of has a story, but I'd say it's more just like because of the fact that the game is not officially sanctioned by Kikiyama. It's like just a bunch of different fans that made the game in the sort of same sense as Yumaniki. It's unofficial because, you know, it's not, it wasn't made by him, nor officially like, you know, blessed by him. But it captures that feeling and essence of Yume Nikki. There's a lot more stuff to do. Whoa. Oh, it's Poseidon! Oh my god. It's actually him. Dude, <laughs> wait, can you sit down? Can I sit? No, you can't sit. I can't sit on the diagonal ones. I can sit here. Man, I kind of hope that they manage to, like... Just get more people to play this game. This game deserves, like, more than just, like... 100 people playing at the time i want to see this like world like lived in i mean i that sort of like would be counterintuitive for like the feeling of the game because obviously like you know this game was meant to be single player to begin with but man imagine like a place like this poseidon plaza just being filled with people just like talking and chatting like a social hub you know the pun for yumatuki is that the japanese word for two is neat yeah, yeah yeah i was about to say that but unfortunately you know, it wouldn't make any sense in English if I kept saying, like, Yuma Nikki, and then people were like, but aren't you playing Yuma Tuki or something like that? Okay, I got a badge. I got two badges. Let me put that away. Let me see if there's anything else I can do here. I'll go back. I don't think there's anything else I can do in this area, but let me double check. You just chainsaw out a TV. Wait, you can chainsaw TVs? I need to, like, experiment with it. You can chainsaw around here. NES glitch do I love that name there's an actual name called the NES glitch tunnel that's pretty funny can I go down can I go south nope I'm not this way is there an end for this area there has to be right okay let's see nothing here nothing here Nothing here. Oh, upstairs. There's an upstairs area. No, it's cut off. No. Oh, okay, I have to wait for this update. There's this. This world is so huge. This place is like as big as like, it could be its own like world rather than just being like you know, another dream area. It could like literally just be its own world. It feels like I'm in a hub by itself. All right, I think we've explored all of the west side of the. Poseidon Plaza. Let's go to the east side. There's a mask shop? Wait, no, no. I think me and Cyber went to that area before. Oh, was it? No, it was the fortune teller. We had no money, though, so we couldn't talk to her, unfortunately. Okay, I need to find how, how to get more money so I can, like, talk to these guys. Okay, I went, did I go south already? I think I went south, right? No, no, I went south already. Um, Let me go east, then. I like how there's a random tank in this mall too. It's so, it's so crazy. Okay. 
Oh, it doesn't look like I can go east, unfortunately. Maybe north? Let me try north. Mm. Oh, door? No, it's probably locked, huh? Yeah, it's locked. Imagine if you can, like, find keys in other worlds and it unlocks, like, doors in other worlds. That'd be pretty cool. There's a piggy being that shows up in the dream room. Dream room? There's a dream room? Okay, I can't get north over. Okay. I think we've explored everything that there is to explore in Poseidon Plaza. I'm not sure if there's an effect here. If there is, I probably missed it. In which case, whoops. Alright, can I go back? I can't go back? Am I just stuck here? Do I have to, like... Oh, here we go. That was Portrait Purgatory. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I hope there's more worlds like that. I mean, dreamscapes are cool, but I like... I like the feel of exploring, like, real spaces in... Nexus. I like the idea of exploring, like, real-life spaces in, like, a dream environment. It's such a surreal feeling. Where's the dream room? Do you mean, like, the, the Nexus hub? Because I can't think of any other place that would be, uh... Oh! In there. The dream world. Okay, okay. Yeah, you are you playing on the on the single player version or the or the online client version? Cause I, I kind of want to know what the differences are between the two. Uh, let's see. Can't interact with any of these. I guess I just gotta go back to the hub, most likely, if I can find it. I might be kinda lost. Where's the... Where's the exit? I saw the heart perch earlier! Oh wait, bike. Wait, no, that's what we got. Wait, you can get the bike again? Are there different places you can get the bike? I guess that makes sense. I I guess their th their idea is that, you know, it would be kind of annoying or it'd be kind of slow to explore these worlds without the bike so oh you're on the multiplayer version nice yeah I'd, I'd imagine that their idea is like the uh the fact that there's these worlds are so big and expensive they want the bike to be available for for people to find easily so they can explore easier you know that's pretty cool i like that they had like quality of life uh mechanics in mind when oh wait tree okay we haven't been here yet let me try this place pop revoir ah it's like a f just a force of trees oh bench ah okay okay i see i see Oh, you're Alice Chan. Okay, okay. I see. I wonder if there's anything here, though. Rocks, rocks. Hmm. Wait, this looks more like a path, doesn't it? These pink dots? Is it a path? No, it feels like it's a path. It definitely feels like I'm following something here. Let's go follow it, I guess. It has to lead somewhere. I hope it doesn't lead into, like, the benches over and over. Nothing here. Uh, what is this? No, that's... No, that's where I came from! Okay. Um, let's see. If I go this way, it'll, will that loop? Lily... It's not even a lily, it's like a flower. Oh! Peach! There's a peach here! Pin cushion vineyard. I got a badge. Hmm. It doesn't look like the the path leads here. I wonder where that path leads. But let's go see what's over here. There might be an effect here. A thread. Oh, I thought those like were tomatoes at first, but no, they're just they're pin cushions. <laughs> they're literal pin cushion tomatoes. Alright, there has to be something here. There's no way to lead to a dead end. 
I hope that they have like the foresight to like not lead you like four different worlds in and just get lost in it. No. Let me try going east nonstop. All right, and let me get another sip. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if there's anything in this world. It doesn't look like there might be anything here. There's a blue pin cushion, or I mean a blue pin. There's a lot of different- wait, no, 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 there's a door here. Okay, okay. Oh no, not a maze. Oh, okay, you know what? Might as well, we're this far in. I hope it's not like a teleporter maze like from- Like from- oh god it is. It's the teleporter maze from- from Pokemon. Shit. Alright, it can't be that bad. It might be that bad. Oh no. Okay, you know what? We'll just go randomly. Surely, it has to be some way to get to where- to the next area. I just hope I don't loop. I might be looping. Uh, this way? Okay. And also from Yuma Nikki, I had one of these two. I know Yuma Nikki had a, like a decent amount of puzzle or a, a decent amount of mazes. Like I get the idea of a maze where you know you want to be feel lost, but in practice, you know, it's very easy to get frustrated from playing a maze because once you start looping in the same area over and over again, you sort of lose that immersion and it becomes more of just like a. Uh, let me just get to the next area. But we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I don't get stuck here for like an hour. Cause I remember I got stuck on the invisible maze area in Yume Nikki for a long time, like a good 30, 45 minutes or so. I, I just hope that this is, oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Glowing star, ooh, I got a badge. What happens if I change all these guys? Oh no! They have blood! Why Why did the stars have blood? Oh no! Um, alright, we're not gonna talk about that. Well, it looks like these are cut off. It's like a river of stars. Wait, what was that noise? Wait, what's that noise? Uh huh? Maybe someone joined the party? Oh, someone did join the party. Nice. Yeah, so... Uh, if you join the party, we're sort of just like doing our own thing. I did get separated from everyone. Um, I don't know if that's like someone from from here or from the game, but yeah, I'm just sort of like exploring on my own. If we run into into each other, then that'd be super cool. But I doubt it. This game is so big, I wouldn't be surprised. What is that? What is that coming from? Players? Friends? Party? Oh, is it just disconnecting? I, I think it's just disconnecting over and over again. Wait, why is it doing that? I can't even see party chat. Yeah, party chat's like... The bloop sound is a step sound. Oh. I see, I see. I thought that was coming from... <laughs> I thought that was coming from... From like chat. I thought that was like a chat message or something. Alright, let's go see. There's another place we can go. How'd you get to the world with tomatoes? Um, let me think. I got there from the Pop Reservoir world. I went from there, I went south from the Pop... Okay, so this is what I did. I got to the... I'm trying to backtrack. I went to the portrait world. I looked for the tree. From the tree, I got to the tree world. And so from there, I went south to get to the, um, the, the pincushion world. Which is the world which has the tomatoes. I believe. That's what I did. I could be I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. 
Let's go back to the yeah. Let's go back to the brick maze. And then from the brick from the uh, pin cushion world, I went to the maze world, and from there, I got to the glowing stars world. Is there anything here? Oh, here we go. Is this a whip? Oh God. No, it's a whip. No. Oh man. Uh oh. Is this? Does this mean this might be a dead end? This might be a dead end world. Oh man. Shoot. I don't want it to be a dead end world. Chain. No. Okay. I imagine. No. 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 I don't. I don't think Chainsaw will do anything. I. I'm basically imagining that the construction sign means that it's not ready yet it's gonna lead to a different world but that world is not ready in this version this game has been in development yeah it's the whip you got that's how you broke into the tv all right you know what i'll try it then because i thought that's what it would have been you know like they're not ready to showcase the next world yet so it's just gonna be like a construction sign all right let me see if i can try it then i'll see if i can find it again if i can't find it Oh god, dude. Navigating these worlds are just... You get lucky, and you find where you need, or you spend like 10-15 minutes, even maybe even 20 minutes, just trying to find where you came from, or where you're trying to go next. So you're saying the TV that you saw had a construction sign, and you chainsawed it, and you got into the next world, or what happened? Uh, might be... Wait, what is this? Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. This is new. This is new. Um... Alright, I guess if I just find this world again, I'll go try the chainsaw, but... None. Hi. Oh my god, what is that? What is that effect? <laughs> saw TV, saw whip saw and chainsaw, and TV broke, and then went in. Oh. Oh, I can't- Oh man, I can't combine any effects of that. Alright. Oh man, I want to combine effects. Let me see what's in this world. Frozen Glade. Ooh. So there's nothing here. But I like the- I like the aesthetics for this place. You know what? I think I'll go on foot. Oh, and it's twin- You got twin tails? Oh my god. I wonder how you mix effects. Oh, it's like a tree house. Can I do anything here, though? Uh, oh, this is so cool. I like it. The music's really nice, too. It's really, really calming music. All right, you know what? Um, since we're here and this is like a good relaxing part of the game, I'm gonna go be right back. I'm gonna go refill my water and use the restroom real quick. And we can just relax here for a second. So one second. I will be right back.
Oh, I know I'm muted. I'm just uh, getting more water and refilling on my coke slash rum. This is really relaxing music. Like, I have the music I just want to use for like playing other games that don't have like audio or just like using them for my own streams, honestly. You don't remember this place? It's probably newish, or it's like really out of the way, because you can't really get to this place normally. Um, let me see how I managed to get here. Let's see. First, let me get another drink. <sighs> okay. Thank you for the company, um, non none person i really appreciate it but unfortunately it's time for me to go um if i can thank you uh effects where's my controller bike and i will head back if i can how did i get here i was here i got here from the glowing stars world that might be this might be a dead end world I want to see if I can find the um, other area. <clears throat> that uh, whip sign area? I don't know where I managed to find it from. Maybe in this area? I don't know where to go. Because that's not- oh my god, dude. That's like the worst part, isn't it? I s you, you see a place and you think that you remember where it was. So you try to back- you try to like trace back your steps. And it's just like- an odyssey trying to find it over and over again. Yeah, it's this place is big. I mean, it's nice though. I'd rather be lost in this world than like, you know, a void world full of like nothing or like weird stuff or like gore or viscera. This one has like nice ambient music and it has stars and it has like, you know, NPCs that are just smiling. But god, I cannot for the life of me find where that whip sign was. I see another person here. Let's see. I want to find the cat effect too. The cat effect is really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to find that, but we'll see what happens. I'll give it like another... I oh don't know. I'll give it like another one more loop around. If I, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Um, Chainsaw? No. It doesn't look like it. No, it's unfinished. All right. Um, I don't remember how I managed to get here, so I will go back to the main world, and I guess we'll explore another area from the main hub. Thank you, Nan, Nan San, for exploring this world for me. I really appreciate it. All right, and wake up. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing here. Let's go save. Now is a good time to save as anything. I never found any other other effects, it looks like, but that's fine. Uh, let's go to sleep and wake up. Ooh, gold effect. How drunk am I? Um, honestly, I've just been... I've been more immersed in the world than I have been focused on drinking, so I'm like a like <laughs> I'm only like at a four out of five out of ten. I keep forgetting to drink because I love like exploring this place. I know I'm not drunk enough. The the coke is sort of like washing out the rum, I guess you'd say. But yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not too like too inebriated. Equip bike and talk to the drawer next to the computer. All right, hold on. Drawer? Huh? Wait, what'd that do? I I don't even know what that does. It does something. Wait. Wait, what does that do? It just opens the drawer, is that it? Maybe wake up? Alright, hold on. Let me wake up first. Uh, hold on, I have to wake up normally. Wait, I can't use the effect. No, I can't do that. 
If I wake up, then I can't use the bike effect. For fave effect, you have to activate the option in the real world. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So I have to wake up first. Okay, this time, I'll wake up, activate the drawer. Um, favorite effect. Um, I don't know. What's my favorite effect? When you want to register an effect, use the drawer in the dream world with the effect you want to register. Okay. Effect shift key. What does this do? I don't even know what that did, but sure, why not? Okay, and then drawer. Did that do it? Or is it just like, you know, you can use your effect without having to like go to the main menu, is that it? None, press and hold shift to activate. Oh, I see. So now, ah, okay. And then you press shift. I wonder what the hotkey is for that on the controller though. I don't think I have that key enabled on the control. Oh, Y on my Xbox controller, it's Y. Okay. Well, right now I only have the, I only have the um, the bike effect. That'd be really useful. Nothing else is really I could do. Oh, whoops! You select the bike, so I don't have to go to the main menu anymore to or to the menus anymore to explore or to like you know choose the effect. Okay, that's nice. Um, don't worry about the. Don't worry about the piggy bank. You know I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was not me. Okay, where have we not gone yet? That's closed. Uh, we went to the lamp area, we went to the grave area, we went to the library area. What is this? Did we go here? Oh no, this goes back to the real world, isn't it? Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe one of these areas? Wait, what is this? Tay? This person looks like it. <laughs> They're tricking people. What the heck? That's toxic. Don't trick people like that. Uh, okay, how about this world? Forest world. Ooh, this is nice. What is this? Ooh. Wait, what is this? Wait, elevator. Oh. Got him with the... <laughs> look, 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 look. Forest, the monster's jaw. Oh my god. Garden world. Hey, I'm in the garden world. Wait, what happened? Wait, what? Why am I so slow? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. So this place is more just like a... Can I sit down here? This is like nice. Uh. Can I just sit down? I can. Uh, that's nice. So I'm guessing what this place is, is that it's like an overlook. You can't go down, obviously. It's too high. But you can see where the bike is if you need to grab the bike. Right? I'm assuming? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, I can't... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? How does... What is going on? Is that in... Is that intended? How come... How come when I'm on my bike, I can look down at the garden world, but when I'm not on my bike, I can't. Is that supposed to be intended? That's weird. You're just looking out? Yeah, but how come that's only like when I'm on my bike? When I'm off my bike, it, it doesn't it doesn't work, see? I can't look. I'm pressing A, it doesn't let me work. Try looking out with different effect equipped. Chainsaw? Hospital? Wait, what? What is going on? What is this? Oh, you know what? I think this is for like, if you're trying to like find out where you got your effect from, and maybe if you're trying to like help someone else, you can find out where that world was and you'll see where you got it from. Okay, I get it now, I get it, I get it. That, I think that's what, like the intention of this area. You find out where the effect was if you don't remember where it was, and it'll tell you where the world was along like with the general area where you got it from. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty handy. Okay. 
Back to the Force World. Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting sober again. I need to drink more. All right, that's a person or not? What if I chainsaw them? Oops, uh, chainsaw. Chainsaw? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Oh, I can't chainsaw it. That's weird. That's like the, one of the few NPCs I can't chainsaw. Oh. What if I chainsaw you? Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. She sent us to... <laughs> she sent us to the Shadow Realm. You could actually leave that cabin from the other world, apparently. That's that was not a person. That was like that creepy monster, you know. It's um, what's her name? It's Hachikashi sama Hachi, Hachikashi. Is that Hachishaku? H Hachi. It's eight. It's the eightful tall woman, you know. But but the but the black version. That's a shadow lady. Yeah, it's like the it's like the birds from the original Yumaniki, where if you if you uh, chainsaw them, then they get really pissed off. But yeah, it looks like. H Hachi Shaku Sama, that was it. Hachi Shaku Sama. I don't think we can get out of here though, so we have to wake up. Uh, wake up. Hashi Hashiaku Hashiaku Sama. Ha I I don't. I'm, I'm totally butchering that. I don't know. The eight full tall woman. Okay, the woman with the sundress who who says um po a lot. And she tricks you into like thinking that it's someone else, and then you open the door, and then she like spirits you away. You know that that lady. Why does she have eight feet? Because she's built different. All right, saving. Also, thank you for clocking in, Alkid. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Remember, never work for free. If you're here, you gotta clock in. It's just how it be. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the forest world again and see if there's anything I missed. Forest here, and then here. I can't really do anything with her, huh? The the lady. Wait, did she have eight feet? It doesn't look like she. Wait, what is this? Wait, wh wait, that's a person. Wait, can I chainsaw you? Chainsaw, chainsaw. Can I give me cash? Hmm, nothing. Okay, bike. And in here. Chocolate? Chocolate? Ooh, this is nice. Uh, experimentation. Oh! Oh my god, he broke! He actually broke! Okay, I see something over there. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Nothing? Oh, they're like... It's like they're Hershey's drops, kind of, aren't they? The lantern effects here? This one? That's the- no, not the stone maze. Oh, hold on. Let me explore more of the chocolate roll first. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? Uh-oh. I can't get out. How did I get here? Oh. They were really- Okay, I can't- I guess I can't go back. Uh, I guess we're stuck here. Oh, that was nice. I like the I like the background. It's very very whimsical. No. Okay, I'm guessing these are all these guys are all the same. Let me see if I can find a. Well, this is pretty big actually. Okay, there's a person here. <laughs> oh, this this effect it's so nice. Oh my god, what a vibe. Alright, hell yeah. I like this way better than the last background music. I think it fits with the with the overall theme of this world. Hashiaku Sama is a woman in a white sundress. Yeah, but it, I'm, that's why I said it's like the black version of her. Oh, something here. Oh, maze? Oh no, is it a maze? Please don't tell me it's a maze. I'm not ready for a maze. 
No, I'm, I'm saying she just had like a hat, you know? Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Oh! Uh... Wait, what was that? Did it get an effect? I didn't even get an effect from that. I can't get... Wait, did it kick us? Everyone in a sundress is a ghost confirmed. Exactly! I can't get in! I think they were really unhappy with with me. I guess I guess no effect from there. Oh man, and the funky music just stopped too. That's sad. What about here? No. Is there just okay? Maybe go north. I haven't gone north yet. Wait, cat, cat, cat. It's a cat. Barrels and sundress when? Um, when I'm drunk enough, obviously. What about you? Whoa! Oh, it's a cutscene! What the hell? What happens if I chainsaw him? Is that, is that even possible? I cannot chainsaw him. When I'm, no, I'm not drunk enough, obviously. Have, I, have you not heard? I'm literally not even inebriated enough. I'm like at a 3 or 4 out of 10 right now. I'm drinking a lot right now, but this game is too interesting to like get wasted on i keep finding stuff that like makes me get sober in between places what is this guy hmm. all right let me try east again i never saw that cat before though that's weird I wonder how you managed to get the cat effect. Okay, north maybe? Wait, orange, orange. No. I want- give me another effect! I want another effect! Nothing there. What about here? Mm. Ooh, okay, okay. No, th that looks like a portal. That has to be a portal, right? That's not a portal?! Oh my god, you're kidding me. How is that not a portal? Uh oh, is this a dead end? There's no way this is a dead end. It can't be a dead end. It has to be. There has to be another place I can go. There has to be. Orange. Maybe down here? More? More south? No, that's it. Oh god. No. Oh no. No, no, no! There has to be something, there has to be more, there has to be another portal here, it can't be a dead end. I can't even get out of here, I have to wake, I have to pinch myself to wake back up. No, nothing here. No! No, you're kidding! Oh man! Okay. I guess I gotta, I guess I, gotta, I, I might have to pinch myself. There's nothing, there's nothing here, huh? Oh, there's nothing left in here. All right, I'll, I'll wake up. Okay, there we go. I have a new friend request. That's the person that's been hanging out with us, huh? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, I don't know how to accept friends, sure. You got stuck in the neon highway? I don't even know how you managed to get over there. Well, let me... Let me explore. Okay. Uh, I have not found an effect yet. I need to fix that. I feel like it's been a while, huh? What is this? There's a lot of people around here. Maybe there's something here. Back to. Uh oh. You know, I heard some. I heard some mixed reviews about Bacteria World. I heard it was very, very, um, hard to navigate in this area. I heard it, I heard it was actually pretty big. Nothing here? No. Nothing here. Nothing here? Nothing here. Can't interact with that. Hmm. Nothing there. I need another drink. Give me a sec. Okay, 
This looks like a portal. Are you shit? Oh. 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 Nice music. This is like some boss music right here. Oh, that's kind of bright though. Oh god. I'm so sorry. If you're like, if you're watching this in the middle of the night, I'm so sorry. Whoa. <laughs> this is like actual boss music. Hi. Huh? Color capital? What is this? Oh. Oh, this music, this sound effect. I can't say I'm a fan of the sound effect. It, it, it would get... It, it, it gets a bit jarring pretty quickly. Oh god. Alright, please let me find the next area. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. No. Okay, maybe... What if I just walk? Can I, can I walk? No. <laughs> oh, that's a no... That, that's... Yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying, I'm, I'll be honest. Mm. Oh, I'm not- oh god, that's- I, I, I can't deal with that sound effect right now while I'm- while I'm- while I'm inebriated. I need to find the next portal. Oh god. Or give me- give me- at least give me an effect for this. It's so- it's so repetitive, please. Uh, ask me something here, please tell me there's something here. Okay, here. No? Oh no, you're kidding. Okay. There's something here. I guess I'll follow, follow you. You can have game sounds in the settings. No, I'll follow this person first. It feels like they might know where to go. There might be like a... I, they might be leading me somewhere else that I can escape from here because I want to <laughs> I just want to get out of here If I stay here for lo longer than like a couple of minutes then I'll disable it. What was this? Effect? No? Ooh, okay Oh, this is slightly better. I mean, yeah, it is It's like tatami mats kind of I guess or I guess I don't even want to call this net sound effect But I guess it's not as jarring I, I, never mind. I, I was. I, I could be mistaken. Ooh. Coins. Who are you? Uh oh. Huh? Haunted head world? <gasps> what? Uh. Hmm. Is this supposed to be spooky? I don't know. I, I guess... I, I guess... I can sort of guess. 666. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> oh, is that a penguin effect? I want to get the penguin effect. It's the pretty effect. I like it. <laughs> oh, what the heck? How'd you manage to get... Wait, what if I... What if I... Hold on. What if I walk? Oh, I can't walk. Okay, I guess you can't get past that. At least not with these effects right now. Uh... I don't know. God, dude. It's so hard to top the Poseidon Plaza. The Poseidon Plaza was definitely like the best world I've come across so far. Uh, apart from that, like it feels like 80% of the worlds are just sort of like this, where it's like open empty space. It's either that or a maze. And God knows I really don't want to do a maze right now. Maybe there's something else here. Cause if I go hug the 666 plus, the 666 stuff, it feels like it just loops, doesn't it? Yeah, it just, it definitely loops. Is there nothing else here? I'm going north. This game has countless depths and so quality and style varies across worlds. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the thing. Not every world can be a Poseidon Plaza, but that's fine. Not every world has to be like completely knocked out of the park. The fact that there's worlds like these, even though it's sort of like, you know, a bit empty. Oh, I think that definitely like is a good change of pace. Oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. It's definitely a good change of pace. 
Oh, this is the top part, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's just it's the border, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Not every world can be a top high quality because if, if every girl, if every single dream world was quality, then they all start to feel like you know bland and the same ish. But the, the fact that there's like you know simple worlds and there's complex worlds to showcase like all the different types of devs and like people that created these games, like. To showcase off all their like their creativity is nice. I like it a lot. I might be lost. I don't think there might be anything else here. Okay, I think I have to go back to where I came from. If I can. I don't think there's another portal here, is there? Uh oh, is this it? Okay, let's go back to the tatami area. And we'll go here and see if there's anything here. What the heck? Oh, this, this music's nice. It's kind of crazy how much you can do with just pixel graphics, because you got simple stuff like the world we were just in, and then you got like more complex stuff like this world, and then you have Poseidon Plaza, obviously. I can't believe we're still in color capital. All right, drink time. Wait, what's this? Was that an Amogus? What was that? You saw an Amogus? I didn't see an Amogus. I want to see an Amogus. No, I want to see the Amogus. This one? No. This one? No, that's not really an Amogus. A jukebox? Can't use that. Oh, this is an Amogus. What the fuck? <laughs> What's an Amogus doing here? Okay, you know what? I think it's time for us to be a bit sus. I can't kill him. The Amogus is too shot. The Amogus is too powerful for us. All right, back to bike. I if there's anything else here. Is there nothing else here? Wait, what's it? Where are you? Killing in front of non-power move? Yeah, I mean, if if you kill in front of someone, then you can blame that person, obviously. You'll be like, you'll self-report, and then you'll be like, Oh my god, that person I killed was killed by the person next to me. You guys, we have to vote them out right now. People say that power move, or people say that... That self-reporting is kind of, you know... It's not a good idea. But that's the, that's the idea, it's so... It's so, like, unexpected, it's so, like, dumb to self-support that no one would expect to. Plus, if you're- there's power in being first. If you're the person that says, oh, I just saw- I just saw someone kill someone in front of me, they have less power than if you were, like, the one being blamed. Wait, how do you get there? Dark forest. This is a maze, isn't it? This is 100% a maze. I know, it literally was an Amogus. I wonder if, like, that stuff was added before or after. Like, Amogus was made. That icon was made before or after Among Us was made. Okay, how do I get to the NPCs? Keep going down to the bottom left. Oh, wait, what the heck? Huh? Wait, what? Ha what happened? Oh, no, did we loop? Wait, is this a looping maze? Oh, no. Of course, if it's a looping maze, then we're going to be lost here for a while, huh? Okay, maybe up here. Are you still here, Cyber? Are you still playing? I wonder how many effects you found if you are still playing. Because I have not found a single one ever since, <laughs> ever since I started exploring on my own. I think the last effect I found was like the grave one. You're in a keyboard? In a keyboard? What the heck? I mean, this place is actually, like, confusing. I need, I need some water, actually. I need to counteract the Aldi, all the rum and the coke. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, they say to hug the rightmost wall. If you're ever lost in Omeyas, and eventually you'll find the exit. I don't think this is the case here, though. This place is a bit too big to, like, you know, explore. This place is really big. I haven't found the NPCs at all. What the heck? Oh, you're in a spaceship? I want to get you on a spaceship. How'd you get to a spaceship? I wonder if, um, what's his name? My Michael Jackson? The Michael Jackson NPC is like, still in here. Wait, what is this? Top hat? Forest carnival. Jesus Christ, man. We barely even scratched the surface of this game. We've been playing for almost three hours. We haven't even like managed to explore like even a portion of what this game has to offer. It's actually insane. Oh, it's another maze. No, not another maze. Give me another effect. I want another effect. Oh, maybe this way. Oh, what the heck? Oh! Oh, okay. Probably don't want to touch those. They're probably going to send me to the Shadow Realm. They definitely look like someone that would send me, send me to the Shadow Realm. What is this? Huh? Nothing? Chainsaw? Nothing? Grave? Uh... Nothing? Okay, it's nothing, I guess. Uh, back to bike. This looks like- it looks like an altar, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, this is where I came from. Uh-oh. I think I lost- I think I lost Nan. Oh no! Oh! Shoot, 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 shoot! Wait, did Nan get caught? I feel like- I haven't seen Nan since the Shadow Person, so I think Nan might have gotten caught. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's- wait, what is this? No, no, we can go here. Um, left? Books. Nothing here. This is nice though. That's a really nice area, I like it. Just chilling here. Imagine being so far deep into like the map and then you manage to find someone that managed to get super deep into the map just to like relax in the library. Oh, a door. Uh, I guess so. Door time. How many? Oh my god. Wait, what? Flower. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Okay, we didn't we didn't do that. We didn't we didn't we didn't know such thing. Well, so thanks for clocking in, bot. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, there has to be something here. There has to be something here. Uh, let's see. It's carnival. Where's carnival? Maybe there you can go exit. We're not gonna run over the. Oh god! What the? F Hisoka? Is that you, Hisoka? Okay, I don't want to run over these guys. Okay, uh, is there something else here? Is there really nothing else here? I'll go left, maybe. It is Hisoka, isn't it? It, it looked a lot like Hisoka. Oh, it just loops, doesn't it? Wait, what the heck? This is not a loop. Oh, Nan. Hi, Nan. Um, there's nothing here? What? There's a person here. Okay, that's a mat, but there's a person here. Can I chainsaw them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 oh, um, okay. No, oh, God, they don't reset. Oh, 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 um. Uh, again? I don't think I can. Oh god, I'm just... Nothing's happening. <laughs> um... Oh god. Um, no. No, 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 no. I, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. Let me go back here. Maybe it'll reset. Please tell me it resets. Please tell me it resets. It, it has to reset right. No, they, they were just taking shelter. Oh god. Oh god, what? Oh my god, what did I do? Oh Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh, oh god, why did I get the chainsaw? The chainsaw was a bad idea. The chainsaw was such a bad idea. Oh, they shouldn't have given me this power. Oh Jesus. 
Oh, there's a person here. I don't want to chainsaw any more people. I felt so bad after doing that guy. Oh god. Animal heaven and pastel. How are you finding all these cool areas? I'm still lost. I'm so lost. What's in here? Person? Oh, door again. Alright, I'll follow Non again. Yume Tuki expert. Oh, effect? <gasps> effect? Effect? Oh, not an effect. No, not an effect. Well, what is this? We're still in Forest Carnival? What is this? This place sort of reminds me of the Labyrinth of Galleria. Um, left? Ooh, I like the music for this place. This music is really nice. No, it's cut off. Uh, south, I guess. Have you found it? Have you found any new effects, Cyber? Because I'm so so lost. No, oh, it's a person. Wait, that's a it's a person, isn't it? What is this? What the? Uh. That doesn't sound good. Okay, you know what? I what? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Huh? Oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay, what did I do? What? That thing sort of looks like an Among Us, doesn't it? High Priestess is... Huh? Uh oh. Uh... Okay, this is probably like the most foreboding stage I've seen so far. Oh my god, there's so many. What is this? Locked, 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 locked. Oh, no. Are they all closed? They're all closed. Okay. Man, that what a foreboding stage. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, it's the nun. She has no face. Okay. What about here? A top hat? No top hat? Wait, chainsaw. Oh, no! Do I have to? No. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> do I really have to? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Wait, what? Huh? What? Wait, what? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Oh, no! Oh, God. I'm stuck. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. I'll have to escape. Oh, God. Oh, I have to find the right door, huh? Oh, do I have to, like, open all the doors? What the heck? What is going on? It's like a boss fight! Wait, what the hell? <laughs> they have boss fights in here? Can I... Okay, hold on. Okay, I can run around and then I think I have to... I have to melee everything here, huh? Okay, I think I, I, think I understand what to do now. I got you. I got it. I get it. I get it. Ow, don't hurt me. Ow. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're good, we're good. So that's what the event looks like there, huh? Never taken a look before. I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh god, oh god. They're getting so fast. They're getting so fast. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No! Oh, no! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um... Oh god. No, 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 no. Uh oh. No! No! Oh god, I managed to get so. Oh man. Is that it? That's it, huh? I have to wake up. Don't I? Damn, that's a. 
That's pretty hard, actually. That's like an actual mini game. What the heck? Damn, how do I get? I have to get. Do I just wait here now? Or is anything gonna happen? Wait, wait, there's a laugh track. What the heck? Wait, I can't believe there's an actual mini game here. That's crazy. It's like a boss fight or something. Hmm. I wonder how you managed to do that. Or like, is that mul it is multiplayer, right? Or is it like localized as in like, you know, there's... Is this right? That's so, that's so loud. Come on. Is this it? Well, I'll, I'll turn it down on you guys. I know it's a bit loud. Oh, multiplayer extends as far as chat and being able to see each other. Okay, so yeah, my bad. Yeah, I thought I'm following this non-person, but I don't think I think you're stuck here. I think you have to wake up. It looks like it's a fail state. It looks like like once you get stuck here, you just have to escape. All right, uh, let's wake up. I guess. Interesting. Uh, let me save. Damn, you know what's kind of crazy? I still haven't found any new effects. And wake up. Or go to sleep. That's kind of hard, isn't it? I wonder what kind of effect that you would get to... To, like, um... What's it called? To complete that stage. To complete that event. You have to get something, right? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I like this. Paul Piper. What about this one? Oh! Uh, I can't say I'm a big fan of this one. Alright, uh, a Pinky Pink? Plus four, okay. Oh, you know what? I bet this is like a time... I bet it's something that like builds up over time, the Piggy Bank. If you wait for a bit, for a lot longer, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it would like... It would get more coins, I guess. Uh, how did I... I forgot where I came from. I'm not sure if I'm able to do that event, though. That event seems pretty... Pretty, uh... Pretty interesting. Wait, hole. Underground? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it's invisible. What the heck? I have no idea where I'm going, but sure, why not? I'll keep exploring. It's like invisible. What the heck? Invisible? <gasps> Lantern! Lantern? Not his friend? I have. Uh, I sort of just met them in game. Oh, uh oh. No, I don't have it saved. Uh, FX, Lantern. I can't. I guess I have to save it, like, within my. I have to save it like at the at the desk apparently. So hi Han, welcome back. Yeah, uh, this is multiplayer, so if you want to like check it out, there's all there's, dude. This place is so. I cannot get over how big this game is. I have barely explored it, like the surface level of this game. It feels like I've only gotten like a tenth of the effects. Even out for a candy run, a candy run, kind of candy. Okay, we got the lantern. I don't know what the lantern before. Nice. Um, I guess we're gonna keep on exploring then, huh? I don't know where else to go though. Strawberry flavored sour. Ooh, the belt ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually loved eating those. Let's see. When I went over to get like candy, I'd always get like the um. I guess I go back. Maybe I can try to find my way back. No, no. I already went here. I always used to get those. I used to get those. I used to get like the candy Legos. Did you ever eat those? I like those ones. I never actually built stuff with it because I hated how they felt whenever you like you were building stuff with them. But I liked the um, I like the taste of them. Yeah, you, you never had those. Wait, what is this? Astral World. Ooh. Oh, is this comfy? <laughs> they were definitely chalky. They were really really chalky. 
I used to get those. I used to get the sour worms. I used to get the, um, what else did I get? I used to get jawbreakers. Jawbreakers were nice. There was this place called Candy Factory, um, in my malls. I don't think they have them anymore. What's this? You're a rainbow? What the heck? Oh my god, Cyber, you're making so much progress over me. It's actually kind of insane. I probably won't like it. I've never had them. Yeah, I'm in Astral World right now. I have no idea where- Wait, something here. Nightshade Corridor. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Is this a Lantern? Hold on. Uh, Lantern. Wait. Lantern? Wait, what? How do I... Uh, I guess I have to, like... I guess I have to, um, get Nan to take you to Obento World. You'll love it. I have no idea where to go. I'm where I'm going. I'm just sort of exploring. <laughs> Although Nan does appear to, like, know the entire map. Which is kind of crazy. Considering how big this game is, it's kind of crazy to think that, like, so there are people who have memorized this entire game. Lantern's the lower frame in your hand on the quick select. Oh, okay. So I don't have to like man? No, it says nan. It says nan, not man. Wait, is it man or nan? No, it's nan. It, it's nan. It was some. It's like some Japanese name. Cause it's on the, my friends list. Oh, let me check. No, 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 no. It's uh, nani monai. That's what they're called. <laughs> I was now I was second guessing myself. I was like, wait, was I pronouncing their name wrong this entire time? It's hard to see. What, yeah, right. Wait, menu theme. Oh, wait, the menu themes have different, have different fonts. Really? It's kind of crazy. Dude, I want to explore more of this world. Honestly, I want to just like have a full. I mean, I'm already doing that. I'm doing a full stream of Yume Tuki, but I just want to explore more of this because. It's so crazy to see how much stuff there is in here. All the effects, all the secret mini games, like without Nani's help, there's no way I would have found out all like that huge clown mini game. Oh, it's different colors. Your username colors based on your in-game menu theme. Ah, I get it. Trippy, you can explore your apartment building while dreaming. And imagine if you live like in a liminal space apartment, that'd be pretty insane. Wait, what the heck? Oh. I guess you're just going right, huh? Astral World Nightshade Corridor. I'm sure there's like a map of like stuff that people have done in this game. And I imagine it's probably like stupid huge. Like all these all these locations, all these like worlds have like their own different worlds in them, you know? And then that's not even like counting like when they split apart into a different nexus, you know? High rise apartments are pretty liminal. Hotels too. Like, they have to pack as much floor space into the apartments as they can. So the hallways feel super cramped and honestly they're kind of scary. There's a Yumi Tuki Explo- Oh wait, I actually have that, but I don't want to click that just yet because I just want to sort of experience the game without like a walkthrough. I just want to see all these crazy worlds that people come up with. Yeah, um, Brutalist, I think that's what it was called, like, I think someone told me, like, how the term for, like, you know, apartments, like, concrete apartments that are, like, really empty feeling was, like, Brutalist. You sort of see the, all that stuff in, um, in what's it called? I think you'd see that, like, sort of in... In Call of Duty, when you're in like the Chernobyl, or no, no, like Chernobyl itself, those apartments in Chernobyl, you know, all the empty like apartments, I guess that's sort of like a, a brutalist type of structure area. And I think we played a different game called Flesh, Blood, and Concrete. That's sort of also like an idea of like a, a brutalist structure. Is something here? Huh? I'll go back. Oh, did we, did we pass it? <laughs> uh oh. Might have passed it. Meat. 
Dude, you really do. Flesh, Blood, and Concrete was so good. It was really emotional. Like, a lot more emotional than I thought it would be. It captures, like, that weird feeling of, like, surrealism while also sort of, like, being... What the heck? Penguin. You're a boy now? Wait, you can become a boy? Does that mean just you just wear pants now? Go right now? Wait, right. Wait, what? When you see that tan one, tan? Wait, tan. Tan, like tan, tan meat? Wait, I kind of missed it. Oh <laughs> god, the penguin. Okay, when I see the tan, the tan thingy, when you see other way, you mean like left, right? Like go left when I see the tan meat thingy. Nothing here. I might have missed it. Maybe I should just go, should I just go? On my bike? No, if I go on my bike, I probably won't be able to see where I'm going, right? I can only see this way because I have the lantern. Hey, okay, what's considered tan then? Oh god, I'm looping. Hey, Varo, thanks for clocking in. I appreciate it. How'd you get dropped by? Um, is this tan? Is this tan? How's the stream? Dude, this tri this game is so trippy. It's kind of insane. It's so huge. I'm also drinking a lot right now, so maybe I'm like kind of exaggerating. But the amount of like content in this game, that's not tan. No, it's fine. I it's okay. Uh like I do want to explore, but I don't want to get lost too. So I'm okay with like a bit of backseating right now. But yeah, there's so much con there's so many worlds to explore in this game. Oh wait, is that was that none? I could have sworn that was none. That was none. Hi. I don't know. <laughs> um. This way? No? Yeah, if you're into like exploration games, Zavaro, then I feel like you'd enjoy this game a lot because there's so much stuff to do in this game, it's actually kind of insane. Wait, where the heck did you go? What the heck? Wait, what? How did- wait, where did Nani go? I guess- I haven't seen anything tan. Is this tan? It feels like I'm looping, right? This has to be a puzzle. So... Maybe... I guess I keep going right? I'll just reverse my direction when I see something tan. Wait, what's tan then? That's not tan, that's pink. This is purple. I wonder where, I wonder like how people solve this. Bike. I guess I can go on my bike, huh? Let me check on my bike. Hold on. Nothing? Can I see anything? There's nothing I can go down here. Better to wake up? Oh, am I lost in here now? Okay, I guess we'll just wake up. There was one earlier, I just missed it. Um, alright, hold on. Let me go back, let me ex explore a bit more in this area. Uh, I'll just keep going a bit more. I want to see if there's anything I missed. What's tan? Do you just keep on going? Also, Avaro, if you played Yuma and Nikki, um, yeah, try this out. If you haven't, then play Yuma and Nikki first. This is like more of the more of the expanded version of Yuma Nikki, a fan game version with a lot more content. But you can play it without playing Yuma Nikki. Plus, this is the online version. I'm playing online right now with a bunch of other people. It's sort of like an MMO. Also, thanks for clocking in, Mars too. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Yumi Yummy Tuki. <laughs> Dude, how many- wait, is this tan? No, this is red, right? This is meat, right? This is not tan, I'm assuming. I sort of think that brown beige one is the right one. I don't do this too often, but I generally know what it looks like. Brown beige one. 
This isn't it, yeah. Okay. Damn, how do people like manage to like figure out these puzzles? It's so it's so archaic. This is pink. This has to be pink. Oh, there's more people here. There's a lot more. Wait, how many people are in here? Three people in here, apparently. Yeah, that's red. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Brown beige one. Did I miss the brown beige one? Really? Is it just like random? Damn, it's like a, it must be a really low chance then. I've run to the red one, the pink one, the purple one, but none of the red ones so far. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm actually almost done with my rum, surprisingly. The one I said is pink? Wait, are you- wait, really? The pu the pink one is the tan one? Am I colorblind? Wait, am I, am I really colorblind? So the pink one, when I see the pink one, I go left. Okay, when I see the pink one, I'll go left. Wait, no, 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 this one, right? This is tan beige, right? It, it, this is, is this, is this one tan slash beige-ish? It's like green-ish. Green, tan, beige. That is green and brown. Well, brown, brown is, brown is tan, technically, right? Or is that not right? Also, hold on. While, while we're, we're freaking this out, let me finish the rest of my rum and coke. Okay, finally, I'm feeling just a bit, it's not it? Okay. I've been drinking so slowly that I haven't even, like, gotten a buzz, surprisingly enough. Like, I've, I'm feeling a bit of, like, the inebriation. You have to do this FYI, the roar is not amazing, but do I get like an- is there an effect at least at the end of this? Or is there just like nothing at the end? Is it just like a cool area and that's it? Alright, here we go. Now we're ready. I'm gonna keep- I'm just gonna go to my bike, honestly. Let's go see how it goes. No effects it leads to a rather infa infamous one. Wait, really? Okay, come on. If it's infamous, okay. This is tan, right? Is this tan or pink? Okay, I want to go. I mean, if you're saying it's infamous, I feel like I ha I'm obligated to go. So now I go left. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, what? Isn't this, this is, isn't this where I just came from? What? What? No. no. Okay, you, you know what? I need to use the restroom again, so I'll be right back. We can enjoy the Astro World music while um, we ruminate while, what just happened. So I will be right back. Give me a sec.
<sighs> okay, um... So... Should I, should I continue going through the astral world for that area, or should we just wake up and go someplace else? Flush the toilet? Of course I flush the toilet, what the heck? I guess I'll follow Nan Nani. This is where I came from, right? Forest world. Okay, we're back at the Nexus. Hmm. Dream apartments. Hey, what is this? Wait, what the heck? Penguin GB? <gasps> game Boy game? What? Wait. Huh? Wait, I'm a penguin now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? Wait, what? I can just run past them? Oh, okay. No, oh, I guess I have to chainsaw them, huh? Hold on. No, uh, chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Uh. Ah, fuck. Chainsaw. Okay, okay. So I have to cut them to get past them. I see, I see. Oh, I'm guessing this is where I get the penguin, huh? Wait, what the heck? Penguin. Wait, penguin? Oh, so that you get- you use the penguin to get past, like, impassable barriers, I see. What the heck? Wait. Huh? What? Huh? Who? What? What? Are we playing a haunted game? Is this a creepy- is this a creep video game creepypasta? Wait, what'd that do? Huh? Wait, what? Uh, well, let me save first, before anything happens. Alright, waking up. Or, I mean, sleeping, I guess. Hey, what does that do? Um... Okay. Are we going back to the astral world to find that one area, I guess? Wait, did I get the penguin? Was that the penguin unlock? I didn't even see that I got an effect from that. Huh. Okay, so this is where we came from now. Lantern, I'm guessing. Lantern. Wait, what? Penguin? Wait, I have to use the penguin area here? What is this? The right. Wait. I'm just really unlucky and barely saw the right one. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, so I have to find the right color or what? I can't. I have no idea who's who here. Maybe I can have the lantern out first. Wait, so what do you mean I was unlucky? Like I didn't get the right one? Like then I guess. Wait, can I combine? I can combine, right? I guess I can combine. And then. <laughs> wait, what, what's the right one then? Wait, what the heck? Wait, there's something here! Wait, what? Wait, 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 this is new! Wait, 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 what? Oh, Bento World? What? Oh god, wait, hold on. This is a bit much, hold on. This is- this is a bit much. Can I turn it down? I can't turn it down. Hold on. 
Can I, please? Okay. okay. No, fuck! Okay. There we go. This is a pretty well known. What is it well known because it just spams Obento nonstop? Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna like burn your guys' ears out with this, but <laughs> what the hell? So, is the only reason this world is like infamous because of the fact that they just spam Obento nonstop? <laughs> it's just a lizard and <laughs> there's so many noodles. Oh my god. But you said there's no effects here, right? It's just- oh my god, what is that in the background? It's a lips! What the fuck? Yeah, it definitely has a weird-ass background for sure. What the heck? Well, I still got a badge. I'm guessing I get a badge every time that I get someplace new, huh? Hey, Nausea, thanks for clocking in, appreciate it. What's in here? Is this where I came from? Fish world. Fish world! Yeah, we're currently playing... We're currently playing Yume Tuki online right now. What is this place? <laughs> uh, I want I want a place like the hospital world or the uh or Poseidon world. Oh my god, why is it fish? This place is so fishy. How are you doing, Nausea? Exploring with the homies? Pretty much. I'm just sort of like being led on by like the experts of this game who I feel like they sort of know what they're doing like what is this is this a bento world again desert desert fuels wait what oh this is nice huh this is actually more on brand with Dessert World than Chocolate World. I'm doing well, how are you? Um, you know, I'm just vibing. This entire game is mostly just a vibe, you know? I've been, I've been drinking like here and there for like the past like three and a half hours. Cause I'm trying to finish like this rum that I bought like a couple of weeks ago. What is this? Nothing? I like it though, this is nice. After all the weird stuff that we've seen for like the past hour, this is definitely a good change of pace. I think here. Is this fish world again? Oh god. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not re I'm not ready for fish world yet. L please, let me let me explore more of the dessert fields. There has to be something here. There has to be something here, right? Am I missing something? I need a drink. I need another drink. Oh, this. This, this, this. Okay. Ooh. I can explore here. Path? Hmm. Cake! Oh, this is like candy candy land, isn't it? Huh. Wait, what? What the heck? What is it? <laughs> Am I just eating it? Is that the implication? You think that, like, there'd be a lot more dream dream worlds that have like the idea of like candy as part of like the central theme you know but even like when you think of like places like like um what's it called like the back rooms like games like the back rooms they never really have anything like candy related which is kind of weird look at that you can interact with everything here okay i don't want to get off the path so let me follow here oh so yeah we can summon our mini phone give me a second uh we'll put him right here i'll put him next to him There we go. He has a friend now. Uh, let's see. Anything here? No? Thanks for the redeem, Cyber. So how many effects are you at now, Cyber? I am currently at five, it looks like. Oh, something down here? This way? Oh, okay. Oh god. A maze. Not a maze. Okay. 
it's time to brute force this maze, and by brute force, I mean it's pure luck. I'm cold, I'm totally gonna get lost. Can I break this down? Effects. Chainsaw? Oh, I can just go through it. Okay. <laughs> What's the point? There's no points. You're in snow? Snow? Why, why are you in snow? Wait, hold on. Is this something I can do? What is this? A red city. Oh, okay. I'm totally down for this. This place looks creepy as hell. Oh my god. Hell yeah. This is the shit I was looking for. Like, completely creepy as hell. Like, real life based environments right here with dreamscape in mind. Uh oh, it's dark. What the heck? It's too creepy? How is it too creepy? Oh, I remember this staircase. This staircase is from the original Luminiki. I mean, this long ass staircase. All right, let's see. What is this? Head, oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh my God, is this Evangelion? This is 100% this is Evangelion, isn't it? Did you manage to get find this place too, Cyber? Ooh, that's cool. Dude, this is so surreal. Oh my this is this is what I this is what I was looking for. This this weird ass shit right here, this is what I was hoping to find in this game. You know, actually, I heard there's like a Zalgo area in this game somewhere. I kinda wanna figure out like where that is at some point. I don't know if I'll find it this stream. But if I do revisit this game again, I want to make a, an effort to find out where that Zalgo place is. Wilderness. This is some Neverhood environments right here. The music is also very, very surreal as hell. Uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I guess this is alright. I think I'm a fan of more of the Red City. What the heck? What? Wait, what? I guess you can't interact with it. Wait, is that something you can interact with? Or was I like not it's supposed to be my bike? Am I supposed to just be something else? Uh, okay, off. Chainsaw? No? What? Can't interact with this here. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Hmm. It's like I don't even know what you describe that as. I would say it looks sort of like earwax, but that's definitely not earwax. I have no idea. I wonder if there's anything here. Actually, no. I'm not sober enough for this yet. I need to. I need to drink more. My buzz is going down. Asparagus? I don't know. That doesn't look like any asparagus I've ever seen. That looks like trypophobia asparagus right now. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, what's this? Hourglass Desert. Oh god, another another pure. <laughs> A maze? Ah, oh, shit. At least the music is nice-ish. Wait, wait, who are you? Nothing? Oh, god. Oh, god. Why are there so many mazes in this place? You know, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I even dedicated like a week to just playing this game. I would still not even be like halfway done. There's just so much stuff to do. I see anything down there. Can I get to that guy? Can't get to that guy. Why are there so many mazes? I just want to explore. I'll, I would like it at least if the dead ends in the mazes led to like different areas. That would be nice. Wait, what is this? Nothing? Nothing. If I just keep going up, is that possible? Oh, here we go. 
Hourglass Desert? Wait, what? Can't check with this thing. Wasn't there also like a desert in in the original Yuma Nikki? Sort of like this? What's this? Dark room. Oh, this sounds like this sounds like the original Yuma Nikki song, doesn't it? Yeah, this sounds like the menu theme from Yuma. <gasps> what the who are you? What? Hi. Can I help you? Phone? Gets. Telephone! Hi! Cool! Effects? Random effect. Your head becomes a rotary telephone. Um, would you like to answer? No? Okay, uh, I might, I might regret this, but... Hi. Uh-oh. 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 Um... Hold on, let me reset. Oh no. I can't reset it. Okay, maybe if I go, if I leave the area, maybe it'll reset. Uh, hold on. Okay, that 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 should reset it, right? Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh, it doesn't reset. Oh, I killed. Wait, what is this? Book? Huh? Those look like mouths on the right, doesn't it? Mouths piercing someone. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Ooh, who? Oh, hi. Um, give me a sec. Wait, hold on. Chainsaw? Chainsaw. I need to like stop killing people. <laughs> I really need to stop killing people. Where's this lead? Sewers. God, dude, the amount of connections between worlds compared to Yuma Nikki is actually insane. I'm not even sure if there's any dead ends for these worlds. I think they made an active effort to make sure you don't, like, dead end. So you can keep on, like, moving forward to different areas. Need another drink. Hmm. Whoa. That's some crazy stuff in the background. Japan town. Ooh. Is it actually gonna be like a town? Oh, it is like a town. Hi. Wait, what? Why are they all disappearing? The hotel? Hotel. Okay. Wait, what? Oh! Masks. Uh. Can I do anything here? Nothing? I hope I don't like go to a different area in Japantown too quickly. This place does look pretty cool. I want to keep on exploring this place. No, with a name like Japantown, I imagine that it must be pretty extensive, right? There has to be a lot of stuff in here. Oh. Nothing here? Okay. Can't go to sleep, huh? Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, my bad. Do you want to go... Can I sleep? No, you can't sleep? Okay. Uh, what about here? I wonder how these people feel about just random people just like barging into their house and like... Or their rooms and like trying to interact with them. Nothing here, huh? The hotel? That's it? The... That's it for the hotel? And that's fine. We have a lot of places to explore for for the rest of Japan town. In here? Wait, what? The mirror? Wait, what? Oh, here. Oh, it's an onsen. Wait, what? 
Oh, it's a oh, you got the swimsuit. Wait, did I unlock the swimsuit now? Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Wait, what? Wait, wait, it teleports me? Wait, I was actually just doing a bit. Wait, what the? Oh my god. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, huh? Wait, I, I was literally just doing a bit. I was just gonna like nap for like a five five minutes or so. What the heck? Wait, huh? Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, what? Wait, what, what was that? I unlocked a new badge. Wait, what now? I, I can't even pull, pull up my effects. Do I interact with this thing again? Oh, that was? Wait, was that an effect? Uh, that was not an effect. Huh. Really? That was an effect? Getting your swimsuit isn't an effect? That's lame. Really? That's weird. Uh, okay. Is there anything else here? Uh, I guess I'll just keep exploring the rest of the hotel. That's kind of you think that would there would be like an effect. Oh, that's the same place. Like you think there would be like an effect for for that, for having like your your swimsuit. Oh, what's this? Something there. Wait, can you get that? No. It looks like that would be something. I guess not. Oh, I guess it, maybe it probably isn't. Wait, huh? Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Wait, what? Is there nothing here? It sounds like there's something, there would be something that I appear here. Like a boss fight or like a jump scare or like a, an enemy or something? Maybe? Yeah, it sounds like there's something approaching, doesn't it? Maybe if I... What if I... That's it? It's just a sound effect? You can't even interact with this. Glasses. There's glasses in this game? You can adjust... Is that a special effect for the glasses? You need to adjust it? You can mix it, okay. I guess that's it. That's a bit disappointing. It sounds like there's like something would be in there, but maybe maybe they'll add something later on, or maybe I just can't see it without the glasses. All right, let's explore the rest of Japantown. Garbage, nothing here. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Wait, what's this? Dark museum? What? Uh, I think I need the lantern here. Lantern, 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 lantern. Uh oh. Wait, what is this? It's so dark in here, Jesus Christ. Wait, my lantern doesn't do anything, what the hell? Lantern, lantern. Why doesn't the lantern do anything? That's so pointless! Is that it? This is it? I guess this is it, huh? That's weird. Maybe it's like incomplete. Okay. I think- oh, here? The back alley. This sounds like a place that you'd be spirited away in. Oh, like there'd be creepy stuff in here. Oh yeah. 100% creepy stuff right now. Plaster cast? What is this? 
Plaster cast. Wait, what? Wait, how'd you do that? Wait, how do you... Go back to the dark museum? Well, I'm trying to figure out how to like do the effect. I can't do... Th I can't slip. Apparently, I, I can't slip. I don't know how to do that. Go back to the dark museum? Was there an effect in the dark museum? Did I miss it? Uh, I didn't see anything in the dark museum. There was? Okay, uh, check here, check here. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Maybe I need the lantern? Where's the lantern? Okay, I got the lantern. Now what? I don't see anything here. You sure there's something here? I don't see anything here. I can't go down or... Yeah, there's nothing here. I don't think there's anything here. Up here, maybe? No. Can't go, you can't even go up. There's only like two spaces up. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, yo, you're on the display table? What do you mean? Oh, I have to go off the display table? Oh. Okay. So I have to get to the display museum. Oh, wait, coins? What the hell? I got coins. What? I got 100 yen. Wait, what is this? Back alley? No, that's where I came from. Sewers. Wait, what? Oh, this place is very dark. Huh? Can't see anything here. Oh god, I, I it's so hard to see in here. Okay, uh yeah, lantern. Anything here? Anything down here? Wait, what? Oh, down here? I'm guessing I have to cross the sewers in order to find the uh, other stuff, huh? Hey, laugh! Thanks for thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. How did your how did your um, what were you playing? Peggle? How did your Peggle stream go? Oh my God, you're streaming so late. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how how come you're streaming so late? <laughs> yeah, thanks for giving Lav a shout out. I hope you had a good stream. Hi everyone, coming in for the first time. I'm Brel Beru. I am a sleepy demon intern who usually plays RPGs and horror games. And right now, we're playing Yume Yume Tuki Online. Uh, it is basically Yume Tuki, which is like a fan game of Yume Nikki, but you can play like with different people. And that's basically what we're doing right now. We're playing with like people online. Whoa. What the heck? Monochrome feudal feudal Japan? That's how I feel right now. I can't stop playing this game. There's so much weird shit in here. Yeah, for anyone that wants to come in for the first time, or for that wants to come in, I'm playing online right now. Uh, I have the link pinned right now in my uh, chat if you want to join. It's a browser game, so you can literally play in your browser. Yeah, this play game is crazy, man. I was, um, I played Yuma Nikki, but this is the first time I've played. This is the first time I'm, I've actually played um, Yume Tuki. I'm just sort of like following like the experts who've played this game before. I can't get over like how crazy these like stages are, honestly. <laughs> but I hope you had a good stream, Lav. Um, you know, for any raiders coming in, including you, Lav, if you want to get some rest, if you want to get some food or get some water, I totally understand. And I'll, you know, take care of yourselves first before anything else. But if you'd like to, this game is open to be played with by anyone and we're just sort of like exploring all the effects and stuff that we have in here. Oh, not here. Oh, nice to meet you for the first time, Barrel Brew. Wow, on first time chatter, thanks for dropping by. Oh god, this place is dark. Sheen, too. What the heck? Why are you still up? Why are so many of you guys still up? It's literally 4 a.m. in the morning or I guess for some other people it's like 7 a.m. in the morning what the heck you guys need to like you guys should be sleeping right now honestly you woke oh god okay no if you woke up that means I've been streaming for a bit too long it's only 10 16 p.m. yeah all right well it's 4 a.m. on my end right now 
who is this barrel person? I don't know, but they sound like they have no idea how to play video games and they need a shower. Ooh, what's this? School? Wait, she, um, what do you call this? What do you call this uniform again? This is the cool uniform. What do you, this is a, this, this uniform. This is a certain name for this uniform. Um, Lav, you probably know, right? G Gakura, that's it, Gakura. Yeah, thanks, Han. Appreciate it. Wait, can you? That's, <laughs> I love this uniform so much. Holy shit, dude. Like, I mean, uh, coming to secondary, I managed to learn about it from, from Fate, but I love how this looks. Actually, no, I didn't learn from Fate. I learned it from... I think, what was it? Uh, some Miku song, I think. It was like a uh, Senban Zakura, I think, where they use that, where they use this uniform. I was gonna try out all of us wearing this in this uniform, so I'm happy to know that you like it as much. Yeah, dude, I love this uniform. It's so cool. Like, it's like the ideal, like, cool ass uniform, even if it is a school uniform. Senban? Yeah, that was it. Senban Zakura. Also, um,. That one other song where like you know you're in a classroom and uh the what's her name is like killing people off one by one that really popular song you know what i'm talking about there's there's there was a song for that i forgot what it was called you won't want to wear it if you're forced to long now i mean it's sort of like the case with anything you know like people love People love um, wearing military uniforms, but but you know when you're forced to wear something like that, it's not it's not as glamorous, you know. It's it becomes like you know obligatory, and then it becomes less cool. I totally understand that, but like you know when when you have the choice to wear it, it's all about the choice. Also, yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of that song. Um, I played it so many times on Beat Saber, and I listened to it a lot of times too. It was by, um, what's her name? The Purple Haired Girl, I think? Maybe? Kind of? Uh... God, dude, I can't remember it! I can't remember who it was called! Uh, it goes... Da 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 I, what was the song about again? It was like you're in a classroom. This, uh, she's in a classroom, and she talks about how like she's eliminating all of her classmates one by one until she's the only one left. And then she's like, Sensei, you're the only one left too. We gotta eliminate you too. Yeah, it's the girl who wants to eliminate everyone, you know? Ah, oh, God. No, I, I swear to God, I remember... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, Sensei, Sensei. Uh, we have to eliminate everyone, but you're the last one left, so we have to eliminate you too. I can't, yeah, it's hard to remember the name of the song off the top of my head, which is weird because I swear to god, every time I play Beat Saber, I play it like non stop every single time. Alright, thank you for the help, uh, Nani. I think for now, I'm just gonna keep on exploring like the the worlds normally. I'll take a yeah, true. Churia churia da da da. That was it. That was the name of the song. Yeah, yeah. She play. She um. She wears a. She wears the Gaku Gakuran Gakuran. Yeah, that was it. She wears the 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 um the Gakuran in that song too a lot. Like every person does. It's kind of funny. Apparently, the song is like flagged on like Vocaloid wiki and apparently it has questionable content which is defined as possible murder <laughs> which is funny because they don't even like reference murder in that song it's just like it's just like oh we have to remove people from the classroom but apparently thought people thought that like oh you know remove maybe it means Maybe it means that she's killing them off, which isn't even the case. It's more like she's just like tattling on the classmates until she's like the only one left. I know, right? Possible. Yeah, go on the Vocaloid. If you go on the Vocaloid, on, I'll link it right now. So if you if you click on that link, it takes you to the Vocaloid fandom. And if you look on the on the trigger warnings, it says this subject 
has questionable content. Possible murder. <laughs> View at your own risk. <laughs> also, thanks for thank you for the resub, Oku. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for thanks for the resub. Also, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Um, you should totally do like a, a karaoke of that. Holy shit. I, I would, but I can't sing. I have I literally have the inability to sing. So unfortunately I am I am incapable of singing on karaoke. Hey chat and stinky, yeah you uh, I'm part of chat, right? I'm not stinky, I'm part of chat. She probably got him expelled. Yeah, but then why why does she tattle on the how come she tattles on the um what's it called? On the teacher then, you know? Yeah, interpretation. Just get more and more drunk barrel. I mean, I'm already drunk right now, but... You'd have to give me, like, shit face to get to the point where I'd be like, Okay, guys, it's time for a karaoke! Yeah, I'm totally... I, I need... I, I'm still... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, like, drunk right now. Like, I'm, I'm actually, like, feeling pretty drunk right now, finally. But I'm not shit face to the point where I th would, like, completely not be embarrassed at all by by singing karaoke i'm not gonna sing right now shut up we got we got places to be and by places to be i mean we have to explore more more worlds also thank you again nani uh i'm just gonna probably go vibe for the rest of the stream by just like going taking it easy exploring all the other areas god dude i'm so close to I'm so close to, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, thank you again. I really, really appreciate all of your help. It's, I ha well, won't have found all these like crazy worlds and all these effects without you. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, it's a geisha. Oh, it's a geisha effect. That's cool. You see, the good part about using your voice is that you can sing and play at the same time. No, I can't. What the heck? You think I'm that good at video games? Hell no. Hold on, I'm re-upping on my, on my rum and coke, finally. Dude, there's like barely any rum in here, but I want to finish it, but it's like almost... It's 4.30 a.m., holy shit. Why am I still drinking at 4.30 a.m.? I might... I might have a problem, but... I'm good. We want you to sing, Stinky? Even if I... Look. Even if I wanted to sing, I couldn't because... I would wake up people like next door okay I've got pretty I've got pretty thin walls if I started singing they would knock on my door and be like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> so I'd have to wait for like a time when it's readily available for me to go all out on on singing yeah singing that yeah I'm singing obviously and then they're just like shut up literally shut the fuck up It's me, I'm knocking on your door. Wow, Han, I can't believe you live next door to me. Why, why are you complaining about me? What the heck? That's kind of rude. I thought we were I thought we were bros. I thought we were buddies. Open door and say, I'm singing. Aren't you hearing you stupid <laughs> And then they file a complaint. And then they're going to be like, hey, stop fucking streaming at 4 a.m. in the morning. Or we're going to have to do something about it. FBI, open up. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, uh, let's go back to the main world, and we'll keep on exploring more stuff. Uh, let's go save, actually. We found so many places, that's kind of unreal. You know what's funny? I'm pretty sure we don't even have, like, a tenth of what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven, eight. We have eight effects, and I think there's 40 effects. So we're like a fifth of the way amount for the amount of effects that we've found so far. FBI, open up! Boom, boom, boom. Okay, uh, let's keep on exploring. Uh, we haven't been to this area yet, huh? Mer <laughs> What? Why would you name your world Marijuana Goddess World? What the heck? Oh my god, you're, you're kidding. No way, that's so... 
Oh my god. Back. Hey, welcome back, Cyber. Maybe she loves you next. Oh my god, dude. Hi. That's such a. F I wonder how that translates to what that translates to in Japanese. What was the name of this world in Jap in, in Japanese? Probably something like related to being high, right? Oh, what the heck? What are you doing? Shocking. Shocking. I know. Does this lead to the same place again? I like the music for this place though. Oh, that looks like it could be a thing. Oh, what the heck? Nothing here. Ooh, nothing here? Nothing here? Oh! Here we go. Rainbow! <laughs> what a what? Oh my god, dude, what a name. It's kind of crazy how many different types of. No, same place. Wait, does it just go. To, there's a loop? It might just loop, does, oh, huh? Well, and yeah, this place seems pretty small. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty small. There's nothing here, right? No, it definitely doesn't feel like there's anything here. God, I kind of wish I was back in my Miku phase, my Miku song phase. I mean, I, I don't mind listening to Miku songs, but unless it's like the classic songs, I don't. I'm not really a fan of like voice or or vocaloid songs anymore. Like I, li I need to listen to covers of them. It's it's a bit rough for me to listen to like the song by itself. All right, let's go get out of there for now. How about here? Purple world, purple. This isn't purple. This is more like red, if anything. Yeah, I listen. I used to listen to like World Is Mine, Black Rock Shooter. To Black Rock Shooter, I used to be so obsessed with Black Rock Shooter, like for the longest time. Listening to covers makes me like the original more sometimes. I think it depends. Oh, taxi. I can't. Oh, here we go. Highway. Ooh, it's another real world type of world. Okay, I'm down for this. Okay, like like the classic songs like Melt. Well, I guess Melt. Um, I like the cover by what? What's her name? Super Super Supercell Supercell. I like Supercell. You and the five thousand people that keep peeking that song. <laughs> Look, it's a good song. Okay, if you don't like it, um, just leave the leave the game. Okay. Leave the Osu round if you're not a fan of World Is Mine. Uh, what's over here? Nothing? No, it's a whip! No! Okay, what about... Nope, can't track with it. A highway. Yeah, this highway looks interesting. Can I... Can I chance at you? Goodbye. Mmm... I like Melt, I like uh, World Is Mine, although World Is Mine, I feel like that was obviously, that song was, at least the version I had, I wasn't a fan of the way that it was, um, it was, what it was called, the circle, the circle placements on the map, I wasn't really a fan of that. All the classic songs too. I still can't believe they managed to turn. Okay, so for Black Rock Shooter, it's kind of crazy because you know it was made by Huke, Hook, Huke, Huke. It was made by Huke Sama, Huke San, and that guy. If you don't know who he is, he's the guy who created Black Rock Shooter, and he's also the artist behind uh, Takahashi Kiara from Hollow Live En. But apart from that, before then, before everything else, he was an artist, and he was the guy who produced Black Rock Shooter, the, the song, Black Rock Shooter. And that song was so, so popular that they actually made like an OVA for that song based off of like the, the OVA. And it was like basically how there was like a, there was like the Black Rock Shooter world, and then there was the real world, and how like the schoolgirl was also like the incarnation of Black Rock Shooter in the the Black Rock Shooter world. And that was like a 40, 50 minute OVA. And then they had that. And then think after that OVA, that all the series was still so popular that they actually managed to make a full length like seasonal anime, well season anime from Black Rock Shooter. 
I've heard mixed things about like both the animes, but it's still kind of crazy that they managed to make two animes based off of that, based off of that, and then they made a video game. They made a PSP video game from Black Rock Shooter. I heard that was also kind of mediocre, but still. Like imagine being the produ like the guy who just made the song and like the art for well, what the heck for Black Rock Shooter, and then you managed to get it picked up from a, an anime production studio and then after that you managed to make get it picked up for like a video game studio and then from there Huke just kept on like rolling he just kept getting like more and more popular like you can't get more popular than having having freaking hololive commission you for an artist for one of their models like that's actually kind of insane i don't know i i admire him so much oh i can't go here nothing here nothing here Nothing here? Oh no, just loop around? No! He's like really, really like big into like following his um... His, his uh... His model daughter, I guess. I really, really love like artists that just like are really invested in their um in their kids that they create like model wise i think it's really like cute and really really like admirable that they're so in oh god it's amazing isn't it that they're like invested in their activities and everything oh, oh. no it's just a bench i don't want a bench i need to like find more places to be Slouching check? Yeah, we can unjump right now. Uh. <sighs> okay, there we go. I is this it? Uh oh, I hope this isn't it. I wonder. I wonder if Uboa is still in this game. That'd be pretty cool if 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 they were still in this game. Uboa and uh, M what was her name? There was a Poniko, Poniko and Uboa. I hope they're still somewhere in here. It'd be really nice if they were. Wait, is there anything else we can go through here? No, there has to be someplace else we can go here, right? Let me go down again. I'll go straight down. I'm gonna be here. No, nothing. I do like the the new age songs from the voice of Royds, honestly though. The the new voice of Royds songs made by like popular producers. They're really nice. I love listening to um, Pinocchio P. He's really good with all the Vocaloid and Voiceroid songs. And I also like oh something down there. How do I get down there? I also like um, what's their name? Um, Yar Gary. Gary is also really nice to listen to. I like all of his songs. I used to follow- I followed Gyari before he even made, like, made his, um, his VTuber company, Voms. It's kind of crazy. He went from making Vocaloid songs to making a whole ass VTuber company. Like, that's a- that's a step up from, like, what he used to do, you know? I don't think I can get down there. I'm pretty sure that's impossible to get down there. Okay, yeah, I think- I think this might be a dead end. Go this way, and then wait. What? No! Why is it a dead end? Ah, uh, fuck! All right, I keep on drinking. Chocolate mint, chocolate mint ice. Um, what's that? that one song about? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Excuse me. Wait a minute. This, this wasn't closed off before. Uh, uh, okay, look, I'll admit, I'll admit I'm pretty, I'm pretty drunk right now, but I don't think I'm drunk to the point where I would be gaslit by this game changing things up on me right now. Uh, okay, here we go.
Ooh, hi. Wait, what is this? Wait, it's locked. Closed? Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Huh? What is going on? Why is it changing? Wait, it's changing non-stop. Okay, weird. Can I do anything here? No. Uh, hey, this. I feel like if I stab them, something might happen. But I don't know if it'll be a, like a relatively good thing. Penguin? No penguin. I might have to chainsaw them. I don't want to, but it's not giving me any choice. What is this? Hey, what is this? Oh, the the cast. I don't even know what that she's doing. Okay, I'm um, very sorry. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, how come I can chainsaw? Why can I chainsaw the, the painting? What is happening? Can't interact with that. Can I chainsaw the painting again? I cannot. Wait, is this just a dead end? Okay, this might be a dead end. Unless there's anything else here I can do. Uh, what if I go back here? Will it be... No, I think it's a dead end. Nothing else? What do I do here? Uh, can I talk to you? Nothing? I can't talk to her. Uh, looking for advice. I guess you could say that, yeah? I'm not sure if there's anything else I could do here. I May mean, I chainsaw her? That's like the only thing I can do to interact with her, I feel like. Apart from that, I would have to like. There's a way you can progress from here. Uh, let me see. Hold on. The barrel bedge. Four thirty. Hmm. Probably very soon. I feel like. Wait a minute. Oh, let's be something here. Uh. Stop. 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 Where's the default? Nothing here, nothing here. Check with her this way, this way. Alright, chase all her. We're gonna chase all her. I guess we can sit her. No, we can't sit on her. On her uh, chair. It's warm, it's comfy, it's cozy. Your eye mask feels really have. Yeah, but. We're exploring dreams right now. Why would I go to sleep if I can go to sleep in a game? Which is like 100% better. Blue, purple. Okay, I'm not sure what they do from here. It, it doesn't feel like it'd be a dead end. There has to be something here I can do. I'm not sure what though. Maybe this? Uh, not that. Cast? Can't do with the cast. Um, what if I just keep on cheats on things? I'm at nine. What the heck? How do you still have so many effects? I'm still like eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm at eight effects right now. Okay, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take any advice, Amiko, if you know what to do next. I'm not sure what I can do here. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here, nothing here.
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lost. Is there anything I can do with my current effects, or do I need like a certain effect to progress? Re enter the room repeatedly until neither of them are there. That is so... That is so... Oh. Okay. There we go. RGB passage. That is extremely not obvious, I'd say. But yeah, I appreciate it. Thank, f thank you for that. I'd be very lost if I didn't know what to do for there. I wonder, like, how someone who doesn't know what to do, like, if they're playing this single player and not playing online, wouldn't know where to go, you know? Like, imagine if you were playing this single player offline, and you weren't looking up any guys, and you're just trying to, like, get to play point A to point B. Imagine it would probably be very, very, like, difficult, you know? Oh, this place! I remember there was a place like this in Yumaniki. Downfall Garden A, Claw Tree Force Prismatic Tent. What? I like I like the effects for this place. It's a bit empty, but the effects sort of make up for it. What's all the fake? I know, right? Um, I think Saber also mentioned how like he managed to get past a place that had construction signs, even though it technically was able to get passed through. Okay, I think. Oh, interesting. Wasn't anyone? I wasn't expecting anyone to be playing one of the Yumaniki fan games through the Yumaniki pro online project. I actually, yeah, I was considering playing between the the offline version, the offline client, and the multiplayer client, and I decided to do the multiplayer client just because of the fact that apparently there's like a lot more stuff to do and it's easier to navigate through. So hi, Safi. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Wait, what's this? Nothing? You got cut in half? That sounds awful. Oh my god. Are you okay? Did you have to reset or what? Humaniki Online has been getting more and more popular recently. Like more and more popular as in like through people streaming it or doing coverage of it or more and more popular as in like the player base has been like increasing slowly. Because like I said, I want this game to like sort of like take off hopefully sometime in the future in terms of being like played by a lot of people. Player base has been growing. So like you're saying it went from like a couple of people to like 160 like it is right now. Because right now it says there's 160 people online, which is actually a decent amount for a small indie game. Oh no! Why is it? Why is it cut off? I like the hope that like it just keeps on growing in terms of content, you know, too. Hopefully be with more people like getting attention onto the game, a lot of more people developing like these weird ass like stages and like areas and dream areas. It's been a gra gradual growth. Numbers like we have now would have been unthinkable a few months back. Posted a picture in Discord. All right, let me check this out. Discord. Also, in case you guys didn't know, we do have a Discord. This is the Discord. There you go. Oh my god, you got bisected by like a cursed doll. Jesus Christ. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> well, I hope you are okay, Cypher. Like we were saying, updates have been getting more frequent too. Dude, the fact that it's made an RPG Maker sounds like it would be like archaic. What the hell are you? Uh oh, could I chainsaw you? That was probably not a good idea, huh? Doll didn't do it. I walked through a razor. Oh my god. Yeah, you got cut in half, but you'll be fine. You can walk it off easily. Put a bandit on it. Discord real? No. Discord's fake, obviously. That's a fake Discord link. If you click it, 
you're falling for bait. Like, you fell for the old trick in the book. It's, a, it's literally a Rick roll, obviously. But yeah, you know, with so many people, like, becoming developers for this game, I kind of want to see more people, like, have their own interpretations of dreams in this game. That'd be really cool. <sighs> I hope there's a way. I hope there's a way for me to get past this area. I have some memories playing on New Minute Online for people on Discord, but the reason I played it was because it was one of the places I could play on New Minute Tuki. Yeah, I, I do like the fact that it is multiplayer. I was a bit sad that I couldn't play this like as its own downloadable client. I couldn't find anything for a downloadable client for online. By clicking through the eye for are these really eyes? I wouldn't say they're eyes. So hi Vortis, thanks for clocking in. I'm I feel like I'm getting really close to like passing out honestly, so I might be I might be ending soon. But this will not be the last time I feel like we'll be playing Yumetuki. Like there's so many places I feel like I have not even scratch the surface of. I want to explore more and more of this stuff. I heard, think I heard something about an officially supported YNO project that computer app, but I haven't heard anything about it. God, dude, if you think about it, that's like a spin-off of a spin-off of a spin-off. You're right, it's probably not something that to be like completely trusted, because Yumetuki is already a spin-off of Yumaniki. The Yumaniki online fan project is a spin-off of the Yumetuki game. And then you have a computer client, which is a spin-off of the game itself. There's a lot of stuff. It fascinates me that someone managed to make these green exploration games multiplayer. Dude, it's kind of crazy they turned an RPG Maker game into a multiplayer game. Isn't that insane? Like, I love it so much. Like, this game, which is just like a pure dream exploration game, people thought like, you know what would be really cool? If you could explore this game in multiplayer, and that's exactly what they did. Alright, um, chainsaw time. Goodbye. What? Oh, here we go. Goodbye. Sorry, you're blocking the way. If you don't want me to cut you, don't, don't block the way. It really is majorly insane. Turning single player games into multiplayer games for the sake of just like people having fun with their friends, it's really admirable. I really enjoy it so much. Oh no. No! Really? Oh man. Oh, that's it? No, I can't get in. Lame. Alright, I think it's time to wake up. And save. Looks like the game counts instruction as an effect. Now I'm not, not in counting the instructions. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Huh? Oh. What? Huh? Huh? What the? What? Huh? What? Huh? Excuse me? What? Vision? Wait, what was that? Wait. What, what was that? Was that like a special... Was that like a special event that happened sometimes? I remember that there were some like random RNG events that happened in Yumaniki. Was that like one of those things? That was a jump scare? Wait, really? I mean, maybe maybe for, for you guys? I didn't hear anything that would like jump scare me. It was more just like a, you know, creepy shadow from behind, but... Yeah. Oh, it was? Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I can totally understand. This game... For a lot of people, I can understand if the game would be like really, really spooky. For me, like for me personally, uh, I wasn't like expecting it too. But like when I think of jump scares, I think more just like you know loud noises coupled with like really crazy in your face like effects. But yeah, yeah, don't don't feel ashamed if that like was actually like pretty scary for you. Different different strokes, you know. Go to Nexus. Go to the other door. Uh oh, what's the other door? This one? Wait, what's the other door? 
There's another door here. This one? Man, man. Below the rock. Wait, oh, what the heck? What? Huh? Wait, what is this? Wait. Wait, she left a room. Wait, what? Wait, she's in her apartment. What the heck? Whoa! Oh my god! Who are, who are you? She actually can leave her apartment in her own dream. That's so cool! Still, oh no. No, 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 no. Magnet room. Oh fuck, god. No! No, I want to explore the- okay, fuck it. No, no, no. I'm not dealing with that. I want to explore more of the dream departments. Sometimes the best jump scares work in silence. Oh. This might be another- is this the same- this might be the same thing. I think we get the same effect- we get the same event again. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Back to back? What the heck? Oh, we can analyze this. Look, her door's open. Is it purple? Is she like astral projecting or something? Hmm. That was like back to back. All right. Uh, let's go sleep here. And we'll wake up. We'll go to the apartments again. Dream room. And then go down to here to the dream apartments. Wait, you can play games on here? Oh wait, no, 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 no! I didn't. Shoot! No, I didn't want to go here. Okay, hold on. I forgot that's where um. Wait, I woke up. What? Oh, I blue screened. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty cool. Okay. I didn't know you could interact with so much stuff in there. That's crazy. Picky bank? Seven. Nice. Okay. We're gonna go to the apartments again. There's so much stuff you can interact with over there. Wait, what if you leave the... Can I sleep in here? What the? Oh, you just go to sleep and you wake up here. Wait, there's no computer here though. Down the first stairs, go to the right. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Huh? What the? Oh my god. There's so much stuff here to do. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. We'll go down the first stairs, go right. I'll probably be very ending very, very soon, by the way. Um, once I explore what's in this apart these apartments. Down the first stairs, go right. Okay, down here, and then go right. Here? Dressing room. This looks like Eve, doesn't it? <gasps> maid! Oh my god, maid! Wait, did I get the effect for this? No, I wanna... I wanna dress up as a maid. Oh, that's so cool! I want the maid effect. Wait, what's this? Butler? Is this Butler? Butler! Oh, or it's a suit. I guess it's more like a suit. Dude, people in- okay, I love maid- I mean, I love maid outfits, but I absolutely love, like, suits. I love, like, anyone who's, like, cute or pretty that, like, dresses up in a suit, because the Gatmo is, like, really, really nice. It's really cool. Oh my god, you could dress up so much in here. Oh, that's nice! I like that. I like this. It's really cool. Put on glasses and butler. Um, so I don't know how to tell you this. I don't have the glasses effect unlocked. I never got glasses, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I didn't know where to. I didn't know where to get the glasses. There's a lot of effects here, huh? I like it a lot. I really like it a lot. Anything over here? Oh, this place is pretty big. Wait, what? How big is this place? Put out this after. 
A lot of the outfits in the dressing room are worn by ones and other Yume and Nikki fan game prototypes. Dude, I wonder if the Marotsuki... Does that mean Marotsuki's outfit would be here? Oh, Fabric World. What the heck? Do you think those would be environmental hazards? I guess not. God, dude, this place is huge. Also, um, what are expeditions? I heard, I saw that there was like an expedition tab. Let me see if I can find it. Is, it, is this it? Screenshots. Take screenshot. Painting, painting. No. No, I saw there was like an expedition tag, and apparently you can get like EXP from doing expeditions. Like, what is that? Do you just like explore random places? And there's like a season too. Apparently, there's seasons in this game. Like, you can get EXP for seasons. I don't know what that would do. Expeditions are an online thing. You go to a specific location, get XP from it. I'm guessing the more XP you get, the higher rank you get for that season. Hey, we can hydrate right now. Thanks for this. I appreciate it. And slouching chat. We can hydrate. shrimp. I saw a lot of people like doing like an expedition all at once. Like sort of like a raid thing. It's pretty funny. I liked it. It looked pretty cool. Ranks are permanent, huh? Nothing except number go up. Damn, so it's kind of crazy that people manage to like memorize everything in this game. Like where to go, how to get to certain places, all by themselves. Nothing here. I want to send you to creepy thing next time I go to apartments. All right, let me finish up here, and then I'll go to the creepy thing. And then after that, I'll I'll probably finish. Nothing here. Can't go in there. Oh. Uh, are you okay, miss? Can I help you? Would you like a chainsaw? Oh god. Uh, probably should have done that, huh? Whoops. It's okay, uh, it's, it was, we were, um, putting her in a safer spot. The world you're in has a lot of homages to flow. Another popular Yumaniki fan game. I wish. I mean. I, wait, what the heck? I like the fact that like they're non-linear, but it makes it really hard to find like where to go in like those in Yumaniki and all the other fan games. You know, because you have to collect all the effects to like reach the ending. And I'm assuming flow has an ending, right? You collect all the effects and then you do something, and that gives you a certain ending. I could never find all the effects in Yuma in the Yuma Nikki fan game, or I mean in Yuma Nikki in general. There was a lot of stuff to do. I think it was like three or four more effects off. All right, let me go back to the um, apartments. I'll go wake up. I'll go to the apartments. I'll do the creepy thingy, and then I'll probably head off to sleep. What? My, what are you doing? Why are you on the floor? What's wrong with you? The bed is where you're supposed to sleep, not the floor. Okay, uh, apartment time. So where am I supposed to go, Cyber? A bad dream? Wait, what's considered a bad dream? Like being trapped or what? I need a stretch? Oh yeah, you're right, I do need a stretch, sorry. My bad for this. As you can tell, I'm a bit inebriated, so... I need to... I'm, I'm a bit, like, out of it. <sighs> I guess I could stretch our... Our shoulders and just out up the top. <sighs> God damn, it's already 5 a.m. Holy shit. <clears throat> Other door, leave a poor man downstairs, right? Second button, all right, right, give me a sec. And thanks for the hydrate, Dean Bordis. 
Another hydrate to combat hangover. Do you have any fish my cup yet? I need to finish this cup before I finish like my water. There's still like half a half a shot glass of cola and rum in this cup first. Man, I can't believe it took us four hours, three hours for me to finally feel like this this buzz. Holy shit. Alright. Uh other door. We have Harman downstairs. Right. Second bottom door. This one? Huh? 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 What is this? What the heck? Can I Why is it why is this so weird? Why is there why is there a fake caution tape door thing in here? What the heck? She a mama to beat? Um we can expedite the process. Here you go. That looks like flow to me. I've never played flow before. Maybe I should have before I played this game. Whoops. Two scream oh god, two screams. I didn't need to hear about that. Can't go down here, no wait, maybe I can. Trophy room? Trophy room? Trophy room? Oh, the, the effects! Wait, what the heck? Hi, Acetone, thanks for the... Thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the... Wait, actually, you know, actually, yeah, thank you for the follow. And thank you for the um, raid, appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream playing um, Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, nice, Yu-Gi-Oh, holy shit. I haven't heard that game in a while. Yeah, how, how was your stream? Did you manage to win a lot? Did you manage to, like, people put people in their place? <laughs> Also, for people coming in for the first time, hi, I'm Beryl Beryl. I am a, a sleepy demon intern who usually plays horror games and RPGs. And right now, I am currently playing Yuma Tuki, which is like a dream exploration type of game. It's very surreal. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's like this- what the- You- what, what are you- what? Wait, what? A pot of green- you didn't? Oh no. Did you, um- not win against certain people. What if I chainsaw this person? Well, regardless, um, even if you didn't manage to win against them, I hope you managed to have like, you know, hey coins, nice. You got your ass beat, oh no. Well, you know, chin up. There's always future, what the hell? Tricolor room. There's always future games to look forward to. And even then, you can always just take it easy and relax, you know? It's over. It's over and done with. What? Why are you running away? What? What? Wait, what? Wait, do I have to beat him? I have to beat him, huh? Okay, I, have to, I think I have to beat that guy to get to the next area. Okay, this time. Maybe? Wait, how do I... What? Wait, how do I? I can't get in. What the heck? I can't get in. No. Ah, dang it. How did he manage to get in there? Good morning, everyone. Something smelling weird. No, there's nothing that smells weird in here. <laughs> Flow's more grimdark. Hey, grimdark sounds right up my alley. I love surreal stuff and grimdark stuff. You, you. Okay. What's the? I don't know why you're chasing him. Whoa. Uh oh. What the heck? What? Huh? Wait, Razor? What? Wait, what? Oh! Oh god! Oh god! So this is what you meant when you got cut in half? Oh Jesus. Where's my barrel sniffing emote? There is no barrel sniffing emote because I don't smell. Okay, I don't smell. Stop it. I don't smell. <laughs> So, for anyone coming in from from the raid, you know, I totally understand. Uh, if you want to get some water, if you want to get some food, if you want to get some rest, you know, take it easy. That's all, it's only, it's totally what we do here. If you want to get some r sleep, that's actually one of my rules. It's okay to fall asleep or, you know, get some rest during live streams, whether or not you want to be in, whether you want to lurk here or if you want to, like, 
there's a lot of stuff here. Holy shit. Or if you want to, like, uh, you know, get some rest. I totally understand. Also, I am a bit, I, I am a bit inebriated right now because we've been drinking, like, for the past, like, three, four hours right now. So I may or may not be a bit quirky. <laughs> But yeah, I totally th thank you again for the raid, Asaton. If you need to like, you know, get some rest or do some errands, uh, or just take it easy, I totally understand. Right now, we're just looking for more effects and exploring all these like crazy ass surreal worlds right now. I have no sense of smell. What do you mean I have no sense of smell? What the heck is that supposed to mean? What is this? What the hell? Amorphous maroon space? What? Huh? What the heck? All jokes aside, love your barrel content, barrel. You're so fun and cute, and your voice makes me so happy. Hey, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad you could, like, you know, drop by. Like, just dropping, just even, like, being here or lurking really, like, makes me happy. It makes me feel like, you know, all the fu <laughs> All the wacky stuff I do, like, playing all these random-ass games and, like, just rambling. It makes it, like, worth it for a while. Okay, now that I am done running around, logged out with a construction inside mask, I'm going to follow you because you're an entertaining sh- Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't have to. I mean, I barely know what I'm doing here. I'm literally just- I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. What the heck? Oh no, it's another construction site area! I can't go in here. Unending river? I can go here? Nope. Although I was thinking about just like, uh, I mean, even, oh my god, dude, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> I've been drinking for like the past, how long? Four and a half hours? Yeah, it's been almost four and a half hours and I've been drinking for this long, holy shit. I may or may not need to like, take a break very, very soon. Simple Street. Red Street. Wait, we were here! Oh no! No! I don't want to go here, this place sucks! I got lost in here. There's nothing to do here. No. I don't want to be trapped here with the Gigias. Gigias is weird and smelly and like, he has that weird ass face. What the heck? Amazing. I'm pressing the follow button. It's Try refreshing the page. I know that like, for some reason, Twitch tends to be like really weird sometimes. Grey Road. What the fuck? Grey Road. Hey, this is new. Grey Road. Is anyone here? Uh, nope, just me right here. Yeah, try refreshing the page and see if that works. And if not, then Twitch is just being really dumb. And you might just have to wait a bit before that happens. <sighs> okay. I hope this isn't like a never-ending, like, looping road. Wait, what is this? Florist. Florist? Whoa. That's cool. Wait, can I... Can I chainsaw you? I cannot chainsaw you. I like the ambient noise for this. It's like a vent. Nothing here. Nothing here. No effect. Wait, what the heck? Do I need a watering can? I might need a watering can, huh? Okay, anything here? How about here? Nothing here. How about you? Oh god. Okay, I take it back. This place is a bit creepy. Just a little bit creepy. What the heck? What? Wait, where? What is this? It's a flower altar. Uh, what if I chainsaw you? Ah, there we go. Okay, apparently nothing really happens. Thank you for the follow, Jumani11. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your time here. Um. Okay, there's nothing here, apparently. Let's try down here, and then... Uh oh. Okay, nothing. Why is there, so, like, an underground shelter underneath a florist area? What the heck? It's a bit, it's a bit concerning. Beryl. Your bed called me. She says she misses you and wants you to get back together with her. Um, sucks to suck. 
my new my new my new muse is my chair my office chair me and my office chair are getting on really really well right now so i think i'll i think i'll stay with my office chair for a bit longer tell her if she wants to get back with me she can go paypal me five million bucks there's a lot of weird stuff here wait what's this wait huh Cocktail lounge. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. Wait, is this it? No, you're kidding me. Dude, the music for this is so nice. I can't get in here. Okay, if I'm only coming your way. Hey, Jumani. How do you get shot by? <laughs> okay. Uh. I will hold on let me get off my bike here can i do anything here i can't even do anything here no you're kidding what if i what about this person can i chainsaw them cannot chainsaw them this is nice though i like it it's really nice music very very relaxing go save first i mean i have to say the only way i can save is if i go back to the computer room so give me a sec i need to use the restroom again and you know when you're drinking a lot, you kind of need to use the restroom a lot, so I will be right back one more time before I head off to bed. Give me a sec. Yeah, we can summon one more mini Fumo. What are you still doing up? Kubi, what are you doing up? Why are you still up? You know, it's okay. You know, I understand me being up, but why are you still up? What the heck, man? All right, there's your mini Fumo. Thank you for the redeem. I will be right back. Give me one more second. <sighs> okay, we're back. We're so back. I'm gonna fall asleep on the toilet. No, I'm no, I'm not. What the heck? I'm not a toilet streamer. Get out of here. Did I wash my hands? Of course I wash my. What the heck? Of course I wash my hands. Who doesn't wash their hands after using the toilet? That's weird. Yeah, girl. Look, I think you guys are projecting. I hope you guys wash your hands before or after you use your toilet. Do you ever play Yuma Forky where you play as Yotsubu? That's a thing? Wait, really? <laughs> Yuma Forky. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's no game with Yuma For- Wait, what? Yuma Shiki is- Yuma Forky is Yuma Shiki, but it's basically- What? This isn't a real thing, is it? <laughs> it's actually- <laughs> Wait a minute, are you just saying that because it's Yatsuba? Oh my god, yes you are. Barrel, I am sleepy. Cyber, go to sleep! What the heck? Go to sleep, man. You've already explored so much stuff with me. You you deserve to rest, okay? Me? I need to explore a bit more. 
I'm gonna figure out all the secrets that this game has, and by the time I figure that out, it's gonna be like the next year. You're also sleeping out. What the heck? You guys need to go to sleep. Stop, stop staying up. Go to sleep. You guys need to sleep. I also need to sleep soon too. Eventually. Barrel piece sitting down. Hey, I have no. I have nothing but respect for people who's like. Who use the restroom sitting down, whether you're a guy or a girl. Just, that just means you're hygienic because it's it's a lot more cleaner to to use the toilet while you're sitting down, okay? It was called Yuma forty years ago. I didn't realize the name change. Wait, what's it called now? I'm just gonna look up Yuma Nikki Yatsuba. Yuma Nikki Yatsuba. Yume Shiki. Oh, it is a thing. What the heck? This is a fan game? As of April 19th, 2021, the game is considered abandoned, with the final build being released July 8th, 2021. It's abandoned? Oh, that's sad. I wonder what kind of stuff they'd have been like able to do in here. I'd imagine like with a with a character or the main protagonist like Yatsuba, it'd be a lot more lighthearted, you know? V made it. <laughs> Of course, if you admit it. Hey, but that sounds. Yatsuba sounds like the perfect person to like have dreams about, where it's more like daydreams and more like lighthearted stuff. Rather than just like grim dark stuff like from Flow. Or just like weird stuff like from the original Yuma Nikki. I could see Yatsuba being like a main character for like a. for like a Yuma Nikki game. Okay, there was no. There is no nexus point or a connection from from the florist lab. So wait, is there really no nothing here? Was there really nothing? Should I just go somewhere else? But there's nothing else I can go from here, right? I'd have to like wake up then at that point. But if I'm gonna wake up, I'm just gonna I don't know. I feel like I'd be pretty close to just ending. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like eight effects for our first try is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Hmm. All right. You know what? Let's go. Did I explore all the? No, I think I explored all of the apartments, didn't I? I'm pretty explore. I'm pretty sure I explored like everything. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's get more. No, I guess we can leave that there. Let's go leave. Let me save. Actually, you're right. I should. I, I should save before anything else. Oh, that's a crazy ass wallpaper. Uh, I need to wake up first and save. I'll explore like one more world and then I'll head off. Cause it is like already five a.m. Holy shit. A save, right? Yeah, it's a save. Let's see, what world should we explore next? Oh, you know what? Let's go explore the locker world in the, um... Let's go explore the locker world in the uh, dream apartments. And I actually wake myself up. I think you can wake up a few times in my dream. If I'm aware in a dream, I can also sort of like wake myself up manually. But half the time, I'm just like, hmm, I want to see if I can, like, wake myself- I want to see if I can influence my own dream. So I try doing that, and then it doesn't really work. What the heck are you? Okay, there's probably an effect in here somewhere, right? Wait, what? Wait, that's it? No, 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 that can't be it. There has to be more stuff in here. There has to be more stuff in here. Okay, let's go see. This is a really small world, isn't it? Nothing here. You can influence your dreams to an extent. I used to be able to do that too, but it was very, very like strenuous for me. I know it sounds weird, like being strenuous in your own dream, but yeah, it kind of like was a lot of effort to do that. So I just stopped doing that for me at least. Do I have to check all these drawer? Do I have to check all these 
stuff right here? Oh, I can't see anything here. There's nothing here. Is this it? That's it? No, you're kidding. Alright, never mind. I guess there's nothing in the in the closet. Let me check it one more time around the dream apartments and see if there's anything that you can do in here. Okay, I can't go in there. Nothing in here. Oh, there's a key over there. What the heck? How do you get over there? You have to get used to it? Oh no, I used to be really big into lucid dreaming, but it just became so much effort. I just got tired of it. The Nexus. Wait a minute, what? Oh. It just loops around, I see. I, get, I know it gets easier, but... I just got tired of trying to invoke lucid dreaming over and over again. Stone maze. Oh right, it was over here. Magnet room. Uh, a lantern? Uh oh, this might take a while. Actually, do I even need... I don't think I need... No, no, I don't want to make it hard for you guys to see. I'll go lantern. I've had more lucid dream, lucid ish dreams when I'm not actually trying to lucid dream, right? When you're not really trying to make an effort, but that's when like you're sort of like become aware of this stuff that when you're lucid dreaming. Magnet room, what? Maybe I'm not supposed to be here just yet. I don't know. I I, I don't I don't want to count these as my like my last worlds. I've already been here before. I don't want those to count. I want to go to play someplace new. I wonder how you get that gold effect. Alright. To the Nexus and... Well, uh, what's this place? Cypher keyboard? Oh no, is it just another long hallway-ish? All these keyboards. Like keys. Oh man, this place. <laughs> this place is too bland. I don't want to end. I don't want to end our stream like on on this note. What the heck? Oh, bottom right, maybe this way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Something new, please. Something cool. Ah, right, here we go. This is some Eeb tier stuff right here. Amoeba Woods. Ah, uh, here we go. Wait. It's just... Oh, here we... Maybe you? No? No? Man. I'll be honest. I think this... I think this game peaked when we hit Poseidon Plaza. Poseidon Plaza was so cool, dude. I'm not sure if I'll be able to... Oh, why are they so cute? You like amoebas? These are apparently amoebas. I, I guess they're pretty cute once you stare at them for, for a decent amount. Yeah, I think I think the game peaked with Poseidon Plaza. If there's so, Unless there's something that matches... Unless there's something that matches the quality of Poseidon Plaza, I'm gonna be, like, a bit sad. I mean, everything here still looks cool, but it's just like, you know, that was like, that was like the perfect area right there. How detailed it was, how good the music was. There's absolutely stuff matching Poseidon Plaza. Okay, in that case, I will definitely have to, like, revisit this game again. This is new. Mmm... Oh no. Oh no, it's a maze, isn't it? Oh no. Oh yeah, it's definitely a maze. I wonder what determines whether or not like an area gets added into into Yumatuki. Like how do they how do they vet what gets added into this game? I can show you something cool really quick. Okay, what's uh, what's uh, something cool? I want to end, I want to end the stream on something really cool. So where do I have to go for that? 
I'm sort of just like going in blind in this area right now. Oh, wait, something here. Wait, there's a rabbit place over there. How do I get over there? In terms of vetting, it generally depends on what type of dev you are, I believe. Yeah, but it seems like it seems like it's very, very random, you know. Like some of them will be really cool ass worlds, and then you get like you get bacteria world. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with bacteria world, but it's just like it's pretty how how crazy the quality is between bacteria world and and Poseidon Plaza, you know. Oh no, maybe I'm just biased. I feel like I'm just really biased right now. I'm sorry. All these worlds are really cool. Every every dev who like contributed to this game had like a lot of effort put into the worlds. Obviously, I I don't want to say like one world is worse than the other because despite how simple it is, it's obvious that every single world had like its own its own like vision, its own setting. Also, I have no idea how I, how to manage to get to that rabbit world. Red Street Light World, southeast of the Magnet Room entrance. I think I was there before, but hold on, let me, um, I'll go over there. There's core devs, which are Japanese speakers. Uh, yeah, there has to be for sure core devs that like keep on continuing making worlds. But then there has to be like, you know, third party devs that like contribute to making the game worlds too, right? Okay, Red Street Light World. Southeast of the Magnet Room entrance. I'm trying to remember. How do you get to the Magnet Room again? That was in the apartments, right? There's associate devs who are foreigners. In order to add their stuff, they contact a core dev as a proxy. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, was it this way? The magnet. I think was it this way. No, this leads to the magnet world, right? So, southeast of the magnet room entrance. Southeast, south. This one. Wait, this just leads back to the outside, doesn't it? There's another magnet room entrance south of the red street light world's entrance. Okay, I have to remember where to get where to go for the street street light world. I have to go back to the nexus, right? Can I even go back to the nexus from here? No, I have to go back to the um thingy, to the um actual nexus. I don't know too many specifics since I'm not a dev. It's pretty common for devs, especially associates, to be online on YNL. So if you want to learn more, you can chat with them. That'd be pretty cool to find a dev like, and I can chat with them like inside the game itself. This happened to me before, like when a dev actually like was chatting to me like inside a game or inside the stream while I was playing with it. Okay, how do I get to the Red Street Light World's entrance? I literally already forgot how to get over there. Was it this one? Okay, this is the Lamp Puddle World. I think there's another Street World entrance over here, right? Sorry, it's been a long time since I managed to get to the Red Street World entrance. That was like five... The literal Red Street light. It was in the Nexus? It might have been in the Nexus, hold on. Also, I am, I am like very, very like inebated right now, so it's a bit hard for me to like coordinate where I was a while ago. Let me see if I can get back to the Nexus. I do like Lamp Puddle World though. Lamp Puddle World is definitely... It is definitely a really good vibe. The the music itself is just so nice. I like it so much. Like, I feel like I could probably just fall asleep to this ambient noise. It's like... People would say it's like creepy, but I like it. It's like something I'd imagine that would make up like the calm quote-unquote music of a dream world like this you know i think i have to wake up i might have to wake up <laughs> i can't find the entrance i'm so lost okay you know what we'll wake up one more time it really is chill it's the first world i explored and i'm so glad that it was i spent a good like half an hour in there 
Okay. Um, how do I get to the red light? Wait, no, it was in the... It was here, right? Red light world. Red light? Literal street lamp. Red street lamp. Red street lamp? This one, this one. Okay. There's another magnet room entrance. Hold on. So I'm here in the street world. Southeast. This one? Oh, I think I see you. Okay, down here. Hopefully this will be a cool a cool world to end the stream on right here. This one? Fort City. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. Ooh. This is nice. It's like an actual it's like an actual building or uh port city. Ooh, it's like run down too. Alright, I, I like this. I like this area. It's pretty nice. The bench. Entrance. Barber shop. This sort of reminds me of um I don't know if anyone's ever like read this, but it kind of reminds me of a Rison Mansion in terms of like how run down it is. That's such a good series. I'm so sad that like the author for that series, the artist for that series, sort of just like discontinued it. Because Rison Mansion was so so good. It scratched that like cute girls doing cute things like vibe. But it was so like weird. And like creepy and like so dangerous too. For anyone who doesn't know what it is, Arasan Mansion is basically a sort of like a Kemono Friends like comic where um, I think it was Raccoon, Raccoon and someone else were living in this like really alien like apartment where crazy shit happens all the time. It's really insane. You should get a little look. Just look up. There's Google Arise on Mansion, and you'll see it in the comics. Oh, this is really nice. This is really relaxing. I like it. Just like a a bridge between the apartments, but it's like nature is like sort of like overcoming like the the buildings is this what you wanted to show potato in which case thank you uh, i really appreciate it i think this area i think this area is a good point to end the stream on right now mm -hmm. i like it this is this is definitely really relaxing thank you thank you appreciate it So let me do my sign off. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know it was a pretty long stream and it's a pretty late stream, but for anyone that stuck around from the beginning to the end, for anyone that came in from a raid and decided to stick around, I really, really appreciate it. You know, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed like hanging out with all these crazy ass dream worlds. It's really, it was really fun. Especially when I was drinking too, and feel I feel like I had a greater appreciation for like all these stuff while I was like inebriated. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but it it is what it is. Uh, you know, if you haven't already, feel free to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. It really helps me out. Uh, let me do my socials real quick because I think all my mods are like completely passed out, or they're like, "What the fuck? Why are you still up right now?" So here are all my socials, and then if you want to join my Discord. It is also right here. I announce my streams in advance on Twitter and on Discord, usually like an hour or two in advance. Uh, I don't really have a set schedule, but I usually stream between 11.30 p.m. PST to 2.30 p.m. PST. It's very late, I'm sorry, I know. If you're in the, if you're like in PST or EST, I'm so sorry, like if you have to like stay up for these streams because <laughs> I know it's so late, but it's, only, it's like the only times that I feel like I'm able to like properly you know have fun and let loose and everything it's really like nice 
to stream around these times because it's so for me it's very very laid back and i like it a lot so that being said uh let's see who is still online right now uh ooh, let's go raid into I guess you can raid into Lulu. I think she is currently playing Fortnite. And if you guys don't know, Lulu is a is an artist, and she also enjoys playing Fortnite on the weekends. I believe she's really really nice. She's very very comfy. Uh, she has a very very like soft and whispery sound sounding voice. So you know, since it is like very late in the night, and like we've been doing sort of laid back streams, uh, you guys might enjoy like hanging out with her. So let's go set this up. There we go. And yeah, that'll that'll do it. You guys take care of yourselves. You know, if it's uh, very very late for you guys, you know, get some rest. If it's not, you know, get some water, get some food, get go do your errands that you've been like holding off on. Yeah, and thank you, thanks Mortis for hanging out with me, and thank you for everyone else for also hanging out with me. I really, really enjoy, like, this time, like, exploring these random dream worlds and all these random surreal worlds. It's like one of my favorite games, honestly, These my game type. It's not just, like, exploration of walking simulators, it's just exploring all these crazy spaces that won't never exist in your life. It's like my favorite subgenre of video games. I know it's like, kind of broad, but it is what it is. All right, I will see you guys around. Take care of yourselves and have a good night. Bye-bye.